All right, all right, all right, everybody. Welcome to War Tales. War Tales, the game of tales of war. Uh, I've played this game before, and I feel like I had a legitimate problem with it because when I played it before, the best way to play the game, I want to find out more, but... Uh, the stupid stream you Um... So one of the issues I had with this game when I played it before, is my camera too big by the way? One of the issues I had when I played this game before was that the best way to like not take damage from random combat encounters, the best way to play it was straight up, you just set up a shield wall of spears and then you just let enemies come into you. But because it took so long for enemies to take their turns, I quickly ran into the issue over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. I quickly ran into the issue where um, like, it would, I, I'd accidentally run into a wolf and I'd be like, oh, there goes the next 20 minutes of my life. So I'd play out like an eight hour campaign and it would just suck. So there is multiplayer here, but I do believe multiplayer co-op is just people following you around. It doesn't really add to the game to have multiplayer, so to speak. So we're gonna do the brotherly band in War Tales, a, a band of brothers, but you know, the brotherly band. We're gonna be the brotherly band. I don't know what that does. Okay, so what do we do here? Choose your destiny. There's not a lot of destinies here. Huh. Apprentice friends looking for adventure. We start with more influence, less raw materials. We get a swordsman, archer, ranger, and brute. Um, okay. Men escorting merchants who lost their employers. Swordsman, warrior, spearman, brute. Instead of a ranger, we get a spearman. Instead of an archer, we get a warrior. Okay. Deserters fleeing an abusive captain. Young farmers looking for a better life. Young farmers looking for a better life. We get bread, but less happiness. Really? I, I feel like a lot of farmers I know are actually kind of happy with it. Okay, um, sure. You know what? Let's just go for it. We are young farmers looking for a better life. Your companions are used to long walks. I... Yeah, actually, I could do a long walk. I, I'm pretty good at walking. You know, but that's because I'm taller, so I think walking takes less for me. Um, our cunning fighters show incredible resilience. What did, what did we go with before? Young farmers looking for a better life who enjoy being one with nature. Oh, bonuses. Increase troops' happiness by two and the rest in a forest? No. Our excellent egg slap games. Critical damage increased by 10%. What are they slapping? Okay. Show incredible resilience. Constitution increased by 10%. Our cunning fighters. Experience gain increase. Influence gain increase. Uh, reduce the speed at which troops fatigue stacks. You know what? We're going to be cunning fighters. We're f cunning fighter farmers. They had a flaw. It would be... Ugh. An, un an uncommon bout of bad luck. Really. Are really... Are very hard... A very hard time getting up. Yeah, that's me. I don't even care what the debuff is. That's just me, dude. It takes me like an hour, man. Adaptive exploration. The difficulty of all regions adapts dynamically to your group's size and your unit's power. The game will always offer a challenge. Each region in the world has a set difficulty from the start. You will have to expand and improve your troop before you can explore more dangerous areas and fight more powerful enemies. Um, okay, so... I played games like this with adaptive exploration before, and I found that it kind of sucks. Because what'll frequently happen is you run into the issue where hiring more people for your party actually starts being a giga debuff. And... Yeah. So, here, let's look at this. War Tales Adaptive or... Re That's literally one of the most common questions. Okay, fair enough. Um... Okay, re... Region lock doesn't make me wish I wasn't alive. That's a good review of it. We'll go with region lock then. Okay, uh, combat difficulty. We'll just do experience, survival difficulty. Management difficulty is tailored to be flexible and unintrusive. You'll need to manage your command's hunger, fatigue, and wages daily. I'll do Iron Man, but I'm also doing novice survival difficulty. Because I'm gonna be honest, guys. I remember one of the biggest issues I had with this game when the last time I played it was like, oh my god, it was so frustrating to play you constantly ran out of uh you you constantly ran out of food you constantly ran out of money to buy food 
You, you were just doing things, you were sprinting back and forth trying to do tasks. It was getting really irritating. Okay, so we have Tiltron County. Vertru's province. Tiltron County. We'll be in the Kingdom of Gosenberg. Jay, why does every medieval game take place in Germany? I feel like every medieval game used to, like, take place. It used to always take place in Britain. And now they always take place in Germany. I feel like I heard kitty. Maybe that was a kitty in this game. Uh, if survival difficulty is too easy, we'll go somewhere else. We're gonna do save mode, limited. Only one save per game. We can go back at any time to certain checkpoints, like the last village you visited at the beginning of the battle, etc. Now, save name, Brotherly Band. Okay. Uh, okay, customization. <laughs> Vitrinius. This looks just like Newfire. Newfire, is this literally you? Oh, he's, got, he's got a fork? Okay, we're gonna call him Newfire. The bo oh, I can't do that. Dang it. We can't, we can't have... Hold on, we gotta, we gotta... No, okay, I, I gotta customize my brotherly band, okay. We always have to have new fire. Okay, I think this is new fire. Oh yeah, this is new fire, all right. Okay, let's see. Then we got. Uh... Oh, hold on, who do we make Scragger? Let's make Scragger the brute. Oh wait, no, brutes are shields. This can be Scragger. The... Scragger the spearman. Good enough. Good enough. Um, no, I imagine Scragger like that. You know, this is kind of exactly how I imagine Scragger. Okay. Okay. Uh. That's a man? Hey, if you say so, video game. Fine, that could be you, Pootis. Oh, who's gonna be we got the new fire scragger Pudis. Who else in here? You know what, Reaper, we'll make you one. Although if I make Reaper name the archer, Reaper, you're just gonna have a kick-ass mustache. There we go. I imagine archers as being green. See, so because he's gotta stay green. That's just red. Okay. There we go. We got a party. Wait, the horse can be named? Aw. I should have made Nudefire the horse. At the beginning. Ah, the fresh scent of the morning breeze filled with the delicate tang of the nearby stables. A good old-fashioned tavern brawl where the furnishings make for perfect weapons. Born and raised in the countryside, your companions know the value of simpler things in life. But to make in this world, one must take risks and go far afield in search of fame and fortune. Just be careful not to lose what you value most along the way. That is to say, your shoes. How do I play this game again? Okay, uh... I remember this game kind of. Okay, we got Marheim. Let's go to Marheim. <laughs> Wait, did Reaper level up? How? Oh, that's right. You level up in this game. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. Uh, oh, let's see. Every time this unit kills an enemy, you gain that symbol. Every time this unit ends their turn next to an enemy and is not engaged in combat, you gain that thing. Every time this unit ends their turn next to an ally and is not engaged in combat, you gain that thing. Well, I think that thing's the best. What do we do every time this unit kills an enemy? You know what? We're gonna do we kill an enemy. Okay. So... And then upgrade dexterity, because it gives up two points. Increase skill-based damage on dexterity and critical hit. How do I... Wait, hold on. Reaper. Open this. Okay. Does this scale up on dexterity? The strange curvature on this bow betrays the fact it was not designed by Master Fletcher. Well, Reaper sucks at making bows. Worst goddamn bowman I've ever had in my life. Oh, I forgot about all this stuff. Is Select a blacksmith. New profession, blacksmith. 
Scragger, I imagine you making weapons. Scragger will become a blacksmith. Okay, Scragger, you're gonna make nothing because we have no resources. Fair enough. Apothecary. Can we become an apothecary? Nilfire, you kind of strike me as an apothecary. Sorry, an alchemist. Nilfire, you strike me as an alchemist. A tavern. Can we get a drunk? Pudus, you kind of strike me as a drunk. Can that become your profession? Bertru's province is beautiful, isn't it? And rich at that. Stay loyal to the emissary, and you will get the best missions. Okay. Does that... Sure. Might she be looking for work? Oh, it's voice acted and everything. Is ...to ensure that all service requests are fulfilled. We regularly update our job offers. Okay, we want a job. Uh, vanquish the rock squad. The rock gang must be stopped. Damn you, rock gang. Chat, I will not let the rock gang stand. The rock gang has been too evil for too long. For all 10 minutes that I've existed in this world, the rock gang has been evil in that 10 minutes. I assure you, the rock gang will know justice. So there's a market. Okay. I mean, is this just food? How can we sell anything in this stench? I can play Raw materials, medicine, apples, bread. Well, what are our supplies? Is this... Wait, is this our supplies? Oh, that's our inventory. Okay. Trades. You have eel, perch, chicken, and salt. Where did they get eel in this town? Where did they get eel in a medieval town? Okay, I'll offer some cheese to go with your wine. High five me, Chad. Yeah. Okay, uh, I don't think the marketplace quite is what I wanted. Kind of interesting 3D design, I'll give you that, it's kind of cool. Um, ah, you guys. That's like a band, right? Can we, oh, no, they're gone. Where do they go? Are they at the inn? Are they just gone? I was part of another group of mercenaries. But one morning, they left without me. Okay, so we need influence and gold to hire him, okay. Is this how we get new recruits? Vict. Life in Gossenberg is much too quiet for me. Okay, we need more influence to be able to recruit people. Okay, so... Let's go deal with the rock gang. Now... Is there a speed, a game time, anything like that? We got three mushrooms. Let's go talk to this guy. Might I interest you, my humble wares? Beer, rat, wolf, and milk. Well, I don't want to attack a merchant. Is there a map? Okay, uh, can we speed up the game? Is there a way to speed up? Is this your state? I don't see a way to speed up the game or anything like that. Is there UI scaling? I feel like I can make the UI a little bit bigger. But I don't think it's UI scaling. A lot of games like this don't actually have UI scaling. So then if you have a big resolution, it kind of looks, uh... Yeah. What? No, Scragger is the, uh, what, what did it make Scra Scragger? is, he said he wanted two-handed, so we got a spear. So that means you're the brute, Pudis. You're the, you're the tanky brute. I'm trying to find the alcoholic occupation for you. Okay, we got a fish hook, a pitten, grease, rope, alazarian, powder. This powder gives us a strong smell of sulfur and coal. Is that like gunpowder? Are there guns in this game? So what, uh, what do I do here then? Can I? Okay, I mean, I guess we're just going to the Rock Gang. Huh. Is there no way to speed up the game? It's like super jank. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i just sitting here. Okay, what do you guys got? Pork, mutton, mushrooms, and beans. No, you know what? You can't interest me in anything. Let me turn the audio up just like a little schmidgen here. I mean, do we have Felix? We don't even have a Felix in here. Felix left. His exact words were, screw you guys, I'm a going home. Wait, can I take multiple quests at the same time? Hmm. Okay, Rock Gang, level one. Hoodlum and Poacher. Okay. Can we recruit bad guys? 
Are these guys bad guys? I mean, they are the rock gang, right? Okay, so how does this work again? Okay, so we have the four of us and the three of them. You know, it said there was gonna be two of them. Oh, I see, because they have the hoodlum, the poacher, and then rock the buzzard. Oh, I see what they're doing, okay. Well, why don't we just stick together? Wouldn't this be better? How does this work again? Okay, so we set up our starting formation. And then... Yeah, and then you move. And then we shoot. I'm not in range to shoot. Okay, let's, uh... Huh. We're not in range to pound. We can't take him to pound town yet. How come he shoots just fine? Ah, shit. Buddhist is going down. Okay, uh... Run up here and give him the stabbing. Oh, that did not... Run. Oh, it's okay. He ran in. Oh, because he sta he poisoned everyone. It's turn one. I'm already out of the game. Yeah, four to six damage to the target. If they have less than fifty percent health left. What the heck? Okay. Give him the stab. The stab. He didn't really do any damage, and we're poisoned, and we're all dying, and he's about to be stabbed. Okay, he got poisoned. Okay, we're all we're all stabbed. Everyone is stabbed and poisoned, poisoned and stabbed. Well, some might say, okay, so now what are we gonna do? We got rock the buzzard, and we don't really do any damage. I'll be, boy, that uh, if I like stab behind him, do we get like a like a backstab bonus? Pound. Deal three to four damage to the target. Damage increased by 50% of they still have armor. Well, he got pounded. Disengage. No, thank you. Hmm. Whoa! What the hell? Okay, ha. Uh, Skrager is in for a uh, short life expectancy here, evidently. Uh, sprint it! Skrager unlocked the trait resilient. Resilient to what? Death? Wait, Buddhist is nearly dead now! What happened? Okay, give him the shoot. Okay, we shoot him. And then... Poacher will take their turn. Okay, I thought this was like a level 1 fight. Okay, uh, Buddhist is dying. Yes, as is tradition. So, do we have first aid? Is, is that an option? This is 5% of their max health at the end of turn. Okay. Scragger is also dying. Um, so that leaves new fire. Uh, well, the thing is, Scragger at least can disengage, I suppose. He a dying ally for 50% of their max health. Heal! That, uh... Spear throw. Deals 8 damage to the target. Wait, there's a spear to throw? Dude, we're just bleeding to death here. We haven't, we haven't even taken out Rock the Buzzard yet. The companion is dying, so he can't... Okay. Uh, Newfire is dead. Buddhist is dying again. Okay. Huh. We're not- we're not dead yet. Is- is the thing. We're not dead yet. I mean, there's still a chance. I mean, what if, what if their entire team suddenly and irresponsibly succumbs to AIDS? What if every single one of them, in the next moment, dies to AIDS?
Um, okay, so he unlocked the trait glorious. Boy, we uh, we we sure are living gloriously. Uh, the brotherly band appears to be dead. Uh, well, okay. The brotherly band has been annihilated. They are all dead. You know what? Maybe we'll try a different thing. Young farmers looking for a better life? Nah, nah. We're, uh, apprentice friends looking for an adventure. And we are still cunning fighters. And we still have a hard time getting up. A region locked exploration. Okay, so we, we'll do novice experienced uh, Iron Man again. Save named the Brotherlier Band. Okay, this time around, I got a better feeling about this. Okay, Prudus, you be the archer. Okay, Scragger will be the ranger. I was imagine that's perfect because Scragger always stabs you in the back. Okay. That's a swordsman. Um Who does that remind me of? This kind of reminds me of Felix. Uh Honestly, this kind of, you know, we need to change the hair a little bit, though. Not a ponytail. That's Scragger right there. Okay, fine. Alex, you can be the, uh, tank, I guess? Fury, damage to the next thing increased by 20%. That's you, Alex. Oh, wait, we have traits? Oh my god, oh! Oh, I was supposed to be selecting trades. Okay, Scragger, what are your trades? You are bloodthirsty and... Nimble? Oh, but then you get a negative trait. Uh... I don't know, you're a pickpocket. Skagger will be a bloodthirsty, nimble pickpocket. Pudis will be a, uh, let's see, you're, you're a hardworking. Okay, nimble seems really good because it gives dexterity. Nimble, drunk. Must consume alcohol with every meal to be happy. Okay, Pudis, you're being a drunk. Okay, this is the tank. Well, wait, is the swordsman the tank? Or is the brute the tank? Let's see, the brute is first aid and slice. Starting weapon. Oh my god, wait, you can change your starting weapon. Oh my god, wait, you can change- Oh wait, you can do way more. I didn't- Okay. Scragger, you wanted a two-handed weapon. You got the giga hammer. Your utility will be wrath. Buddha's, Buddhist is volunteer. He volunteers for everything. True! Wages are reduced by 10%. Uh, oh, wait, what does that mean I can give Scragger? Oh, no, Scragger can only backstab. Sorry, Scragger. You, uh, you can literally only backstab. Let's give first aid to the archer, then. Fine. Alex, you can be Hammerman. Felix probably needs a shield. And then probably first aid as well. Trait. So I got constitution. Constitution increased by 5%. And I think that's all you really need as a tank, right? Okay, that's fine. If we have too many negative traits to start, it'll be bad. Okay, he needs to have strength. Strength increased by 5%. I think that's all we need on him, too. 
pony. Okay, chat. Oh, wait. Do we have new fire yet? Oh, no. It's perfect. New fire. The pony. It's perfect. Wait, we have a trades for the pony? The pony is a... Uh... It's gonna be a bloodthirsty pony. Okay, you know what? We're starting again. This time we got it. The companions are off in search of adventure. Maybe, 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 maybe they should. Oh, are you serious? Okay, uh. Okay. Chad, it's a bloodthirsty new fire pony. Okay, so. Where's Hammer Bro? Hammer Bro, get up here. Alright, you swap by holding. Okay. So, what do we got here? We got Rogue here, you here, you here, and Shield Bro here. Well, here's what we're gonna do we're gonna have Shield Bro up here. Oh no, they only do have two of them. Okay. So here's what we do. Well, here's what I'm thinking. Okay, okay, let me think here. Okay, you will move up to that dude and give him the remnant of his life. I guess that's it for our turn. You move up to the archer, block him in the face, stab him. Okay, I mean, we're doing good so far. That was a good stabbing. He did get stabbed most stabbingly. Okay, uh, Alex got poisoned, but unless he takes his turn, he should be fine. Ambush. Triggering this unit attacks an engaged enemy from behind. Perfect! He is a backstabber. Oh, and then he can wrath. I knew it! I knew doing wrath was going to be a good idea, chat. No fire. That horse is exactly like you. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, that worked out. Okay, okay. Honestly, I'd say this battle went a lot better once there wasn't a boss enemy in my, you know, literal first fight. Human remains. Why are the human remains useless? Why would they ever be useful? Can you be a mage in this game? I don't think this game does magic, does it? Valorous victory Movement two points wait. We can't level up the decks on an archer Well, this unit to move around in combat. Well, I mean we get two points in movement. So screw it. Yeah, why not? And what was the item we got? We got a damage dagger a poison damage dagger. Is that better? Rusty shiv Deal six to eight deal six to eight and poisons Dexterity plus two. Okay, so the damage dagger is better. So Scragger already got an upgrade. That's pretty good. Power and glory. Famous. Gain 200 influence. We have 60 influence. We can actually get party members this time about. The plateau. Stables. Can you seriously not speed up in this game? What What is causing it? Am I pressing W? I don't feel like I am. Jay, can you not speed up this game? You have five companions in your troop. Progress made in your discoveries has earned you a knowledge point. You. Yeah, you. Of course, you'll then have to meet the client and meddle in other people's affairs. But at the end of the day, it's the number of crowns in your purse that counts, right? The wife of a man condemned in the gallows. How do we get missions that are evil? Press shift to go fa- Oh, is this one of those games I have to- Thantos. I want to see the world before settling down. Okay, we need 60 gold. What do you do, Mr. Thantos? You're a spearman. Do we need a spearman? 
I'd rather become a mercenary than beg on the market square. Who are you? Cornelian, another ranger. You know what? Screw it. Let's just get a spearman. I think they're best anyway. I'd like to discover new places and travel the world. And what are you? You're a brute with a hammer. Okay, let's get the spearman. Before settling down. Thantos. Thantos. Can we change your name? Okay, Thantos. Chad, who wants to be named after Thantos? People at my party. There's friendly fire if you're in front of an archer and there's a maid mod. There's a mage mod? Reaper, you literally have a character. Oh, no, wait. That's right. You died. Reaper, you got got. Sailor Ivo, you also got got. Anyone who didn't die in the last run. I did to Pudus and Skrager because, you know, they actually subscribe. Well, I mean, join his membership. Y you know what I mean? There's friendly fire. Uh, what do we do with Mr. Thantos? Um, wait, did I close the game? Oh, that's right. Okay, fine. Ivo. Ivo the Spearman. That has been renamed Ivo and the other companions approve. Why would they not? Could they not? Are they allowed to not? Wait, are there like passives? Guard reduces the damage of incoming attacks as long as you have armor. Attacks from behind ignore 50% of this reduction. How do we tell that they have guard? Wait, this companion yet does not have a profession. Tinkerer can learn recipes and craft and enhance camping gear. Critical hit plus two percent. Okay, Scragger, you will be the tinkerer. Might she be looking for work? Our role as MS. Yes. Okay. Now it's time to destroy the Dioric gang. I knew it, Chat. The Dioric gang was always the most evil people. When I first set foot in this world, I said to myself, "The Dioric gang are going to die." Forge. What does forging do? No profession. Blacksmith. Uh. Felix can be a blacksmith. What does doing a blacksmith do? Blacksmith. Strength plus one. Does he have a strength based weapon? I'm assuming. because he... Oh, yeah. Melee strength. Okay. So blacksmith gives you one strength. He's not a very strong individual. And then let's go to the clinic. Let's learn. Pudis, you shall be the alchemist. Alchemist. Dexterity plus one. Well, that actually worked out really well. Okay. Okay. Honestly, it's like working out for me. I like it. I like it. Uh, we have only three professions. That's fine. I guess we depart for that dude. Okay, there's got to be like a speed up button or something, right? Hoist the sails. Ballista on starport. No, it's like zoom. Run. Shift. I got sticky keys unlocked, but that's it. Wait, we're going the wrong way. Hold on, we're of course going to destroy the... What was her name again? Obviously, I'm a very smart individual who knows all sorts of things. But uh, what was the name of the game again? The... the the Dioric Gang. The Dioric Gang, chat! Those fiends and scoundrels of the Dioric Gang. They will never be able to defeat the the brotherly or companion band. I don't I don't I, I think this is it. The Sinister Cave. Do you pick up multiple quests at once? Is that your thing? Do you do that? Is that what you do? Or are you just guessing? Well, I feel like I'm getting my ass kicked by these people. They're kind of kicking my ass. Last time we, uh, full squad wiped. I mean, we didn't because it never happened, but also we did. Okay, Dioric Gang. Where are they? They should be right over here. Did I have a quest for the Lost Tower to free it? <laughs> There's my band. Yeah. 
Um, the companions have just ambushed their target and have an advantage in the fight. Is that good? I mean, it should be good. How do we see turn order? So it's us, then us, and then the poacher. Then we get two more. So honestly, I think what we do is we set up to completely annihilate the poacher, right? So that he doesn't even get a turn. And it's us, us, poacher. No, that won't work. Direct the weasel. We can't take out him either. And then the hoodlum. Okay, no, I think here's what we do. We can reasonably probably have all five people take out the hoodlum, right? So, here's what we do. We have you... This is genius. You move up. Then you give him the slice. Okay. Then we get a second character, the archer, to shoot. We shoot him in the back. Uh, it's so prudish to shoot people in the back. My situation ship ex-girlfriend just posted on her reels that the most masculine man have the ability to love and the least want to be worshipped. I'm thinking about leaving a heart for her. What do you think, Hash? Do, do I look like I know Instagram situation ships? Give him the smack! That didn't really do anything. Okay, so now... Scragger the dagger. Stab him in the back. Ah, huh, that was easier than I thought. What's galvanization? Oh, I forgot he has that stupid AoE. Can this guy attack from this range? Yes! Oh, I'm a genius! Because he's a spearman, he's got more range. And then we go on the other side. And we hit him in the back again! Okay, so Alex got hit. That's fine. Okay, and then you can do Wrath. Oh my god, it works perfectly. Oh man. Fury is... Is that Wrath? Wrath is a... Uh, very useful skill. Um, okay, let's uh, stay spaced out. Am I allowed to take- Oh, I'm allowed- That's right, I'm allowed to take any unit's turn in order of how I want them. I totally forgot about that. Okay. So I get to use anyone's turn. But let's take your turn, hit him in the back. Then we end that turn. Felix is unlocked the drain resilient. Then you use your spack stabbing ways to annihilate them. Okay, honestly, I, I'm picking up the game now. No, 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 no. Loot all. Continue. Okay, so we just backstabbed him, stabbed him in the back with Scragger. Scragger the backstabber. Honestly, Scragger, I feel like you're really good at backstabbing. It just sort of seems to come naturally. Valorous victory. Is everything V? V for Valor? Okay, ringleader's coif, armor seven, assath assassin's stitch nine skill. And I don't want to camp. Uh, okay. Can I see that? Wait, what can I put the put the hat on? Why can't he wear it? Hello. As cannot equip light helmet. Scragger cannot equip light helmet. Who can equip a white a light helmet? Wait, I'm confused. No one can equip the light helmet. The hell? Light helmet rare outlaws. Can no one wear armor in my party? Oh yeah, that's weird. That time I clicked W. That that time was on me. Is there seriously no speed up? Basic knowledge. Run. Learn. Run. Feet makers. Your companions are ready to fight and shine with the glory on the battlefield. Bonus. 
Maximum Valor points increased by one. Rationing. The troop eats three less food. To be fair, to be fair, I, I do feel like Pudas try to backstab people all the time. Your companions become great spokespersons who can talk to anyone who joining their ranks. Recruitment costs to companions reduced by 10%. That's useless. Wages paid to companions reduced by 10%. That's good. Carrying capacity increased by 10 pounds. That one's also good. Maximum Valor points. I don't know what that even is. The companions are honing their criminal skills and learning a suspicion meter depletes 10% faster. I don't like that one. I don't like that one. You can, troops can add objectives to the map? That's something I need to learn? Okay. Let's go with rationing. Three less food sounds good. Oh my god, I forgot. This is the game where you randomly have to hold sprint. Oh my god. And then you have to wait for it to come back. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I know these are merchants, but they don't seem to have anything on them. What I'm looking for is some sort of weapon or something like that. Iron ore can be used to make weapons, armor, and building components. I'm going to buy all the iron ore. And raw materials so we can repair. Writing on a map is one of the biggest skills you can have, New Fire. Um... Yidzrio, it sounds like what you're doing is you're in a situation ship where you're not dating someone. And, uh... Well, that seems to be about it, I'm not gonna lie. So wait, who is the square, uh, the tinkerer? Wait, was Scragger the tinkerer? You're the tinkerer. Oh wait, you can have two tinkerers. Oh wait, you can have, everyone can have, oh! Everyone can just yoink a profession. I see. Can both you guys tinker? No, only Scragger can tinker. Okay, workshop. Use. Scragger. Work us up some torches. Lockpicks? Fish hook? Do we have a cooking pot? Oh, we don't have a cooking pot. Scragger. Work us up a cooking pot. Okay, I mean, we made a cooking pot. Hey, new profession, cook. I have a new recipe. Look, what does cook do? Constitution plus two. Well, it seems like Felix's thing then. And then we still have a blacksmith. Okay. So we've got one of everything. Oh no, we have two tinkerers still. Why do we have a tinkerer as a spearman? Be a cook. Now who's our cook? Felix, go cooking. Do I need him like in here? Does he does he start cooking now? Oh, okay, so he's cooking now. Okay. Now Felix, cook us some some we can't do bread. Okay, fair enough. What else can we do? Camp chest, we need wood. You can use the campfire to pay and feed your troop. Assigned companions generate plus one happiness during rest. Your companions need to rest. What, the horse can't stay at the campfire? That's racist. Use the campfire. Rest. Negative one happiness. Danger level. Average. Ten. Yeah, that's because we have bad resting. The campus produced two raw materials, plus three happiness for companions assigned to the campfire. Minus one food requirements not met. All right, we didn't give Pudis the alcoholic beer. Damn it, Pudis. Your alcoholism is destroying us. Okay, so now we go back to town. 
Yadzurio. You know what? He's sharing it in the right place. As language professionals, or sorry, uh, relationship professionals. Our role is um, here is your reward. Like, let's do the Aguiana gang, okay? Let's free the old lighthouse. Let's locate the Tome of the Ancients. Fair enough, okay. No, you know what? Everyone, give him random relationship advice. The random murderer, the better. Uh, isn't there a forge here or something? We're in the blacksmith, okay. You can use my anvil. I can also repair your armor. Oh, and I'm looking to hire a skilled blacksmith. If you happen to know one. We know a blacksmith. He's not skilled, but we know of one. How do I do anvil forge? Okay, forge me nothing, because apparently we have no leather. Bit of an issue, that one. Throwing hatchet, throwing sickle, throwing knife. We've got three different throwing weapons. Wonderful. Basic armor, rags. Armor plus 10. Basic armor, okay. We need l rags and cloth. Got it. How do we get either of those? <laughs> Apothecary, craft, putis. Nothing because we still have no. Okay. Hand bomblet. So we can bomb people. Defensive oil. Well, maybe tempting to look down on imperfect oils once remember they've allowed miraculous victories. Medicine. A vial, a snow iris, and comfrey. I mean, is anyone damaged? Didn't we get out of that fight without even taking any damage? Yeah, we played that perfectly. That was an absolutely perfect engagement. Okay, so how much food do we have? You touch it, you buy it. Well, we only use food to rest, right? We haven't started the scenario for this region, so we don't need any food yet. This is a learning experience, new fire. Wait, what do you get? It's like pilgrims? Are you bandits? We have nothing. We are only refugees fleeing the Ederanian war. Please let us go. I beg you. Okay. Chat, we haven't even done anything. I was sitting here minding my own. The Aguiana gang. They will be defeated, Chad. The Aguayana gang. They plagued Felix's and Buddhist's childhood. Buddhist's mother and father both actually joined the Aguayana gang. Which was weird, but they did. So actually the Aguayana gang is Buddhist's father and his mother. They could have had coin? Chad, why would I just beat up refugees? That probably isn't great. My current happiness, seven. Maximum valor points increased by one. Wait, isn't there a thing? Oh, I'm remembering this now. You go to the guard outpost. We now have a woodcutter. Ivo, you cut wood. Hold on. Ivo, wood cutter, strength plus one. Does this use. Yeah, spears use strength. Chop wood. I forgot about this mini game. Yeah, I forgot about this mini game. Oh, uh, it was in here. Okay, uh, Captain Rovan. Think that we have to camp out here because of some pig-headed bandit. That Bertram will stop at nothing to terrorize the Orkles. But when it comes to facing the guard, that's a whole other matter. You see that cave to the north? 
He's holed up in there. Okay. Why should we do anything about it? And still he won't surrender. Bertram knows he's done for, yet he continues defending his lair with such doggedness that we have no choice but to starve him to death. Why can't we do that? I need mercenaries. Wait, what? He doesn't know you. He might even let you in if he thinks he can convince you to help him. And once you've gained his trust, it makes no sense. You can finish him off for us. We'll make it worth your while, I promise. Hey, we're seven armed men. Can we come in with our weapons and just chill next to you? He's like, yeah. Why would seven armed men who just noticeably came within the guard outpost possibly want to do me anything wrong? We're like, yes, let us get really close to you real quick. He's like, that's fine. You probably want to just finalize our arrangement, our alliance, with a hug. And we're like, yes, it is time to hug you. And he's like, well, time to drop my guard and let you walk right up to me. I can think of nothing better to do right now. Grease makes torches. Let's get some grease. I don't know if I'll need it, but let's just get it. Okay, um... Let's go here. What are we looking for here? The Aguiana gang. Is that them? I think that's them. Aguiana, the rebel ringleader. Damn it, it's Pudus' mother and father in the Aguiana gang. And... His brother? Chad, this is very attached to our backstory. The DM has given us uh, a lot of content to work with here. So let's see, we get two turns. Okay, so I'm starting to I'm starting to remember this game. Okay. So we run up to the archer, we stab him here, then we have Wait, so he ends his turn, yes. Then Scragger runs up and scrags him in the back. Now he's at half HP, so then we get the wrath. There we go. Oh my god, I forgot how easy this game is. Then you run away. Okay, now you Give him the hammer of a lifetime. Where's Dark Souls? I mean, I'll do it this weekend. I, uh, I'm not even supposed to be playing this right now. I'm actually supposed to be um doing my uh, Dragon's Dogma review. I just kind of have ADHD. So it's like I couldn't focus. You know what I mean, chat? Easy shot right there. Okay. Honestly, dude, I forgot this game was like what the hell Portis's mother is destroying us okay we need to figure out a way can we take out yes okay so here's what we do hold on we got two rounds to do that much damage is it possible Probably. Okay, so we attack here. Okay. And that turn. Now you run behind here. Give him the backy st Oh! Okay, that was definitely possible. Your opponents are demoralized and fleet. Do you want to let them go and win the battle? No. No, I do not. They must die. They must die by my hand. Run! Oh fuck, he died! You know what, I'm contemplating that I maybe should have taken the win. Uh... Wait, Felix is alive. It was the last fight. No, Alex is dead. Oh. Yeah. But we lost one. Um, hmm. Yeah, yeah, hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's let's go back to town. How do you get a profession? You just uh, do stuff, and then you get one. Uh, we we obviously need to go pick up more members for the party, based on the fact that we just lost someone. 
Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I, I definitely should have ended that uh, fight, I guess, a little bit early, but you know. You know what they say. Oops. Someone died. Let's get frugality. That reduces the uh, wages. Okay, let's uh, let's go check out these merchants. Maybe they got something in here. Now, what we really need to do? Let's check out these merchants. We got uh, what do we got here? Mountain Willow. Was that the thing that makes healing potions? I think it was. We got Grease. This is the guy I went to earlier. No, 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 no. I remember one thing about this game is you could do like various different things. So like you could be a uh, bandit or... Well, I mean, that's basically it. You gotta be a bandit or a good guy. I'll be honest, the, the amount of things you could do in this game was really not that much. It was mostly about managing a bandit. Not bandit, a uh, mercenary band. And running around and getting stabbed repeatedly. I, I think that was basically 90% of what we did. Okay, so we're going to need to go ahead and uh, recruit some people. I've had enough of my nightmare neighbors. So what do you have? A Pugilist. Wait, is that new? A Pugilug? Double strike. First aid. Attack stance. Defensive stance. That sounds too complicated for me. You. Of course. You'll then have to meet the client and But how do I get jobs from him? I don't even know how. The bandits took everything I had. An asset. A woodcutter. A brute. Oh, it's perfect. We need a brute. Chat. Do I actually lose? Oh, I do lose influence. An asset. Okay, chat, we need a new name. Chat, we need a name for a new, uh, new brute. Old brute, uh, died. It was, it... Yeah. It happened. The class you can't start with? The Pugilist? The Pugalug? Yeah, the thing is, I didn't really know... I, I didn't want to really learn how to use them, and so I was like, eh, maybe not. If you pay well, I'll come with you. Chat, no one wants to be the Pugalug? How much money do I have? I'm gonna recruit them, too. Blazenrock? Okay, Blazenrock, you can be the... Chat, if you guys die... You know, due to my fault, that's your fault, and you should have done better. Should have, should have, should have given me more advice, you know? Okay, so we need to go to the anvil. And do we have... Yeah, we do have a blacksmith. Okay. Uh, rags. Now, for that, we need cloth and leather. How do we get leather again? We need to kill animals, right? Yeah. We have Blazenrock and Jung... Jane... Jane. It's just Jane. Um, let's see. We got the market, the town hall. It's not your fault, Captain. Surrounding an AOE damage dealer with a masterful strategy. True. It's true. You know what? That's a good idea. We should name Krog. Our AI chatbot can be in the game. He's our bet. Lady Mirrorless. Are you mercenaries? Gun Trende. I'll have you know that we do not take kindly to refugees in these parts. I'm not a refugee, I'm a mercenary. You ask? Because they have overrun our streets and are now taking to the roads. Edran is sending our way anything Edran. with and a mouth that cannot wield a sword. You have your I like the voice acting. You. The voice acting makes us significantly better. Of honest folk in need of help okay. to fend off the refugee menace. There's no like a refugee menace. Okay. Okay. We're getting weird with it. Do my people need a camp? What the? Uh, who died, by the way? We have two woodcutters, but that's fine, because we... Why do we need to camp? What's going on at the camp? 
Scraggard. <coughs> Camp chest. Assigned thief. Sells the stolen items. Thief. Thief can steal items and pick locks. Yeah, it's better than blacksmith for you. Dexterity plus one. Well, we don't sell any stolen items. We don't have any stolen items. So if he goes to the camp then, then he's happy. Because camp people generate happiness. Assigned companions generates one happiness during each rest. Okay. Take your troops fatigued to know you need to set up camp. Oh, so we're fatigued. I see. Oh, we need food. Well, we have enough food. And we're good. We produced raw materials. Everyone got happier. Everything's good. Bounty hunter completes five missions famous generate 200 influence. Uh, what what you know what I shouldn't ask but I think those things do things for like the meta game right like you get stronger after that and then your next runs get easier Why be looking for work here is your reward I don't think there's any more bounties we can take hard requested help requested drunkards a group of drunkards have decided to square off with the refugees it must be stopped before things get out of control okay Loot Bandit's Lair. The guards get convinced that hoodlums are hiding in Bandit's Lair. A handsome reward has been offered to those willing to lay waste. You must complete active contracts before accepting a new one. Oh, that's right. You're only allowed three at a time. So why is uh, Pudas trying to beat up the refugees? Okay, so obviously the brotherly -er, the brotherly -er, uh what do we what do we call ourselves again? The brotherly -er band is uh gonna stop the bandits from their evil acts of being beat up by drunks. I always knew bandits would uh Why are we oh okay them refugees we'll toss them out ourselves they're well armored we'll toss them all out yeah i've been drinking we all have how do you know you seers or something <sighs> never mind leave us be we've got refugees to clear out a tiltron we can give them wine to distract them or attack them we get five leather for attacking them we fight marade Foot soldier and phalanx soldier. Phalanx soldier? The hell? Oh, these guys are way better geared than I am. Little did you guys know, this was actually Pudus's other family as well. Damn it. I know it sounds unbelievable, but yes, Pudus's second family of drunk refugee beater upper warriors has come so let's see here we could get a one two combo here and i think that's the way to go about it no 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 buddhist's family isn't the refugees they're the drunks beating up the refugees And the bandits. Oh, I thought that would do more. Huh. Felix has unlocked the trained shield connoisseur. Well, he does like his shields. Damage is double diffused from a distance. Okay, our attacks don't really do much damage, eh? Does this hit allies? It does. Um, I guess just taunt. 
then... Shit. Yeah, I, I noticed there's friendly fire, and now I'm kind of regretting my action on movement. Aim. Game deafness. Shoot. Okay. Scrag and Krug's relationship is deteriorated. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, I thought that one was gonna hit Scragger again. I just... I wasn't even gonna be shocked. Okay, these are actually like armed guards. And we are not armed guards. Okay, use Wrath. Now they get a Valor for getting a kill. Give them the stabs. Okay, that was, that was actually pretty good. The foot soldier weren't so bad. Who actually got hit? Who actually lost HP? Oh man, we're on a roll right now. The enemies are demoralized and flee. No, we won't let them go and leave the battle. This will go even better than it did last time. Trust me. Oh, yeah. Give him the stab, double strength, because we use it from range. Now, uh, I'm gonna be honest, there's no real need to shoot the archer. Because, like, if we shoot with the archer, all it's gonna do is deal damage to ourselves. And that doesn't really help. You go behind him, get the stabbies, that gives us an extra valor. Loot everything. To repair? No, let's wait for the blacksmith to repair. Felix leveled up. Okay. You've just completed the mission. Help drunkards. I always help the drunk. Oh, that's right. Okay, so swordsman becomes protector, fighter, or swordsmaster. Protector gives plus two constitution, heavy armor, heavy helmet, and encouragement. This unit and all allies in the area get protection for two rounds. Become a protector. Felix, do a protect. He also levels up, critical hit, double strength to 6%. Well, that's kind of how I set it up, Scragger, is that the rogue hopefully just stabs everyone to death. I mean, I hope. Chad, I am role-playing. I'm role-playing a very competent band of mercenaries who are very competently winning their campaign. So what's the situation here? Where we're gonna go kill... Are those part of my mission? Are those my mission or are those just random bandits? Oh shoot, those are just... Oh no, we're exhausted. Use your crowns to influence... These are crimes and influence to convince this group to let you go. Now screw that, we'll beat the shit out of them. I mean, how many are there anyway? I suppose I could have checked. But there's six of us, what are they gonna do? How many of them? They got one, two, three, four, five. They're five? Okay, new strategy. Everyone fling to the right. Archers. We got two archers, right? Archers in the back. Okay, that's good. Um. You go up from- Oh shoot, that's right, you need to repair your armor, you don't get new armor for that- Oh no, I forgot about that. Oh no, oh no. Okay, uh, let's see here. You go- Can we get behind that dude? I don't think we can get behind that dude. Shoot. Okay, Felix, go here. Do a stab. Hmm. Can you get behind him? No, you really can't. Do a stab. That's all we can do. Hmm. Okay, Mr. Big Hammer. Go out here, do a big hammer hit. Well, he didn't do that much. 
Okay, big hammer. Oh boy, blast and run. Can you attack over allies with a spear? You can! And it does bonus damage. Oh, dude, I forgot the spearmen are the best class in this game for some reason. What is this? Mud. Well, wait, it slows down units, but that could be good, right? Damn it. Wait, I didn't actually want to move this guy first. Oops. Shoot. That was bad. I think our archers are dead. Oh boy, this bandit band is not great. Punch. Disengage. Jira's attack of our two. No, 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 no. We'll take his turn next. Um... Who can we kill this guy with? Does it have to be Scragger? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, um... Shoot. You're kinda low HP, but sprint up to those guards. I see you... Run up here. Protection. Damage taken is reduced by 30%. That seems really good. Okay, we get protection. That seems good. Okay, so everyone gets protections. So we reduce the damage, and now hopefully the two squishies don't die? Question mark. Hmm. Oh my god, that goddamn poison, dude. Okay, uh... Hit him with the hammer, that's all you can do. Is he... Oh, god damn it. Ah. Is there anyone that can give this dude first aid? No, not really. Who is this that's Blazin Rock? Blazin Rock is more like Dead and Rock right now. Can anyone first aid? Who can first aid in our team? The two people who can first aid are so way far away. There's just no way. They're just all dead. There we go. Wait, 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 maybe their morale breaks and I can leave. Yes! Okay, we win the battle and we let him go. And then he doesn't die. Okay, see, I'm a genius. Smartest man in the world. Some of it looking at this terrible portrait will make your eyes water. Lockpick, damage dagger. Repair all. Heal all. Okay, that's, uh... Kinda not great. Kinda not great, not gonna lie. Hmm... Get more wood. What do you do with the wood in this game? Oh, I can't remember. So there's some iron. We're gonna go grab that iron. So let's see. Is that the mission? I think that might be the mission. No. What is that? Oh, right. That's the, the boss of the first zone that just kills you. That's all he does. He just kills you. You try to fight him and he just kills you. And it's like really jank because he's like... You have to like plan out your turns perfectly and use like perfect turn management in order to beat him. And it's so jank because like no other character is that hard to beat. We have earned a knowledge point. Moon speed in the world is increased by 5%. Yay.
So I need to go clear out the old lighthouse. Bandits, level two. Three hoodlums and two poachers. We're not very strong though. That's kind of the problem. We're just gonna get our ass kicked here. Okay, let's think here. Okay, so we got an archer, an archer and a thief. I think what we should do here, from what I remember, the best strategy in this game was always to just giga focus one section of the map. So we put both archers here. We put the tank over here. Put Ivor here, Scragger here. Uh, let's put Felix here. We're gonna use the typical uh, Felix Scragger one shot combo to open up with. Didn't quite work. Oh well. <laughs> one thing I think Miyazaki had it right with with Bloodborne's dungeon system. I think that was a major draw of Diablo One too. What do you mean by that, precisely? He dies by the poison, right? Did he just teleport behind me? Did I just get nothing personnel, kid? Shouldn't you die by the poison now? Yes! Okay. Like in Diablo 1, you felt, oh shit, I'm going further now and the enemies are getting harder and I need better stats and gear. True, fair. But... I guess my only question is, what does Bloodborne have to do with that? Wait, did he just attack my tank? Why did he, like, specifically target my tank? That's weird. Honestly, I feel like... My stats are just so crazy. There's no way I can lose. Okay, well, Ivo's gonna die. Oh god, that was a lot of damage. Okay, um... Let's make sure to get a backstab. That's actually a backstab. Didn't work. Give him the wrath! Fury. Okay, so now we have two encouragement. Let's activate that. So that they get protection and maybe don't die. Hit him with the stab, doesn't do anything again. Okay. Yeah, I really thought being that far away would help. It did not. Damage increased by 50% against enemies that still have armor. Don't kill. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. If we kill these two, their morale might break, and then we can end before they die. I mean, that's a good opener, right? Just, just getting a kill. A crit, I mean. We got a crit, not a kill. Okay, as long as we don't take his turn, he shouldn't die to the poison. But he's the last one who can take their turn. I don't really want to shoot because he's just going to die. And now all he can do is take his turn. Frick. So Ivo's just dead. Ah, uh, god damn it. More like Sailor Deadvo, am I right, chat? Because he died? Ivo, why'd you die? Dude, why does every enemy have poison in this game? What is this? Enemies demoralize and flee. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I clearly... Ooh! Outlaw's Tabard.
Wait, new fire leveled up. Our horse leveled up. It's now... It gets more crit. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Well, Felix can carry the Outlaw's Tabard now, right? Okay, so it's, uh... This armor 8, movement 0. This is armor 10, movement 2. So that's a good increase. And he's the only one that can wear the helmet, because for some reason he's the only one that got a level. Which is weird. Angler's rags, angler's rags, farmer's rags. Farmer's rags. Well, wait. Yeah, the angler's rags are better. Farmer's rags, farmer's rags. What the heck? I get blazing rock. How do, we, how do we fix it? Oh, repair button. Okay. Now I repair that. Okay. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna make you a war pony. What can I do here? Is there like a way to highlight things I can do? I don't think I can do anything. Wait. Locked. Use lockpick. Novice thief. Use lockpick. Years of oblivion have done me no wrong. I am perfect. We had eel, we got carp, and we got wine. Do we really want bandit wine? Is that is that really something we want going for us? Okay. Um, we build one lockpick, we get knowledge. Okay, we build a torch, we get knowledge. We build a fish hook, we get knowledge. How do we tell how much knowledge we get? How do we learn? Oh, learn saddlebags. Harness to an animal, these bags can distribute the weight of a load. Cooking pot. Oh my god. But what do we have in our inventory? Is there a way to yeah, sort it by type? Okay, let's look at our food. Uh, let's see, we got some leather. We got carp. These are like ridiculously specific. Hemp tea. Bread. Wolf sausage. Yeah, but we need sardine, right? I don't think carp becomes sardine. Okay, so pike soup. Unless you can turn anything into anything? I don't think so, though. Do we have anything else? We have eel. We could do grilled carp. We need salt. Oh, I forgot! You need salt for, like, goddamn everything in this game, dude. Angler journeyman. Apprentice. Angler apprentice. We already have a torch, right? Didn't we build a torch? I thought we did. Rope requires hemp. Sandal saddlebags are good. We have not killed the asylum demon, no. If you can believe it. Wine. We only do one wine. Eel. Eel. Bread. Bread. Hmm. So there's nothing we can do. We're always going to be one food over. Three companions assigned. Mood goes up. If we get 15 mood. We get 15 experience. We produce raw materials because we have a tinkerer. Okay, so now we're on the last mission. I'm an amazing Dark souls -er. I beat Dark Souls 1, and I even beat the last boss first try, and I didn't even dodge roll. Which people thought took more skill than dodge rolling. I said, I know, I agree. Okay, so we kind of don't want to be near these bandits. 
Could you guys not? Do you guys have like an ag there we go. I, I was like, do you guys have an aggro range or something? We got flowers. I can give flowers to someone now. So what we want to do, okay, so what are we doing right now? We're going to go get the Tomb of the Ancients. We only need to find it, right? Yeah, we don't need to actually do the Tomb of the Ancients. We just need to find it. One thing I remember is that the Tomb of the Ancients kicked your ass. Wait, is that fish? We don't have a fisherman, though. Yeah, we don't have a fisherman. Oh, no, now we have an angler. Um... Angler gives willpower. Willpower. Used to boost the troops' morale in combat. Also increases the critical hit. Dang. Okay, well, let's see. You're doing... Felix is doing cook because he's the tank. Apparently, the opponent can't learn a profession. Scragger is a tinkerer. You're the alchemist. We don't really... I'm not going to do an alchemist, so... Screw it. You're just going to be the fisherman. Be the Fisherman Johnson. Buddhist, do a fishing. How do you fish again? Use a hook to cast your line lotter with left click. Once the fish is hooked, hold left click to keep the line tight in the central zone. Don't let the fish escape. That was like a really fish quick grab. We got an eel. I guess I need to make more fish hooks. Got a fish or mole. Fishy mon. Was well, like an easy way to get food. Okay. Huh. What is this? Knowledge. Presumably for more uh, knowledge points. Grab that. Can we fish again? Do a fishing. We don't have... Hold on here. Press C. Go to Tinkerer. Tinkerer. Create fish hook. No, I don't want to return to menu. I'm, uh, the C button. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, now we do the C button. Do a fishing. Easy. And the fish comes to me. Buddhas has become an angler apprentice. Let's do craft sturdy fish hooks. Does he craft them or does a tinkerer craft them? Of course there's fishing, Millie. Did you expect no fishing? Every good game has fishing. Is there a list of games where you can fish? Because I bet there is. Well... We got a lot of fish, so I think we're like good on food for the foreseeable future. Like, not gonna lie, I'm not. I mean, how much food was that? Jesus. Ivo's dead body. Alexa's. Alex's body. Wait, is Alex he's still here? Of course, he beat Dark Souls 1. He played most OP build and he can't do no dodge rolled build. Alex! You're being buried where you always wanted to be. In an unmarked grave. Here, Alex lies. He never learned to dodge. Why didn't he just dodge? Seriously, stop being poisoned to death. Oh, I guess that's all we can do. Seriously, stop being poisoned. Here lies Alex, buried in an unmarked grave on the shoreline where the tides will drag up his body and put him into sea where fishes will slowly eat the rest of his body for years to come. A lot of DBZA abridged. I would never do that. Do I really look like someone who would do that? Chat. Why can't I move? I'm trying to go to the fishing. Fishing is my passion. I fish in every game you can. Because remember, the more you fish, the more you fish. I mean, that's basically it.
I kind of like that you don't need to actually like you don't need to sit here and and wait. You know what I mean? Like you can just you can just instantly start fishing. I feel like a big issue with this game would be the starts are all basically gonna end up playing the same. So like no matter what you do, everyone's gonna end up being basically the same character. Um, isn't that gonna get old? Cause like imagine, right? Imagine you start another run. Yeah, sure, you might change up the classes a little bit, but like the first 10 hours of every run is gonna be the same, which is uh, probably gonna get boring, don't you think? Late game enemies suck. What do late game enemies even do? Did this stuff respawn here or did I just forget? Did I get in a boat or something and go down there? Because it's giving me the terrain like I can't go down there. Yeah, honestly, this game would have been called Fish Tales if it was any good. Instead, they called it War Tales. Number of people watching the War Channel, zero. Number of people watching the Fishing Channel, millions. Literally, millions. That's right, Ivo, your body can be here. Here lies Ivo. Another idiot that died to poison. Why can't anyone dodge? Remember the bug planet Vegeta? Is that it? That's a Tiltrum tomb. Is that the Tome of the Ancients? That looks kind of like an ancient tome, not gonna lie. How many lockpicks do we have? We got three. I can make me another fish hook, I guess. He's not really leveling up his tinkerer. He needs 80? He's only getting one. Okay, well, how much fish did we get? Thank you. None of my good companions died yet. Bass. We have four bass and two sardines. Okay, well, hold on here. Grilled carp. Smoked saldine. Oh, we don't have any salt to cook, though, so it's pointless. Right, let's go to the workshop and learn how to make saddlebags. Wait, we can do that. Okay, we made saddlebags. Okay, now we put saddlebags on new fire. Oh wait, we already had saddlebags. The f then why did I have to make them? Jube's happiness is 15. Your companions are happy. We've gained influence. 15 experience gained in combat increased by 15%. Okay. I must be something I ate. My stomach feels horrible. Maybe I should go into the bushes for a bit. We get 50% fatigue because he went to take a shit? Dude, the chatbot is ruining me. Krog, why would you do this? Dude, look at my fatigue. I'm just going to have to rest again in a minute. Why would you lose half a day because he went in the bushes to shit? Dude, morealism. In fact, that's not even a morealism. Oh, god damn it. No! Level 3. Seven enemies. Take money. Huh. People screamed at me. They were like, don't play this game. Battle Brothers is the worst version of this game. So I said, okay. And I started playing it. I started playing it. 
I mean, the only problem is Battle Brother. The only problem is Battle Brother. Oh my god! I don't think we can negotiate with the wolves, chat. I don't think they're gonna listen to my requests. Why are we down to five people? Why does everyone keep dying? Stop exploding, you cowards! Wait, so you're telling me everyone loves this game. You're telling me this is everyone's favorite game of all time. Everyone loves War Tales. Everyone says, War Tales is my favorite game. Battle Brothers is no good. I'm a war fan. War fan tales. I could go buy Battle Brothers again, I suppose. I don't know, you guys, you guys lead me weird. This game, I hated how in this game, like, every start was exactly the goddamn same. And eventually it got really boring, I don't know a better way to put it. That didn't work out. Okay, uh... I think... I think we're dead. If I had to guesstimate... I think we're dead. Uh-huh. No, there were people in chat who were like, eh, swap your game, this game is no good, me. I was like, okay, I mean, if you change your army, I don't know, I mean, I don't know which one's better. And then you guys were like, no, don't swap game, no, we were lying to you, no, we, we gaslit you. And I'm like, well, which one's right? And you guys are like, oh, I don't know, I'm just gaslighting you. <laughs> man, oh man, oh man. It's not going great, chat. Uh, oh boy, okay, so let's look at this. Blazenrock is doomed. Let's just accept it, chat. He's dead. He's gone. He's more like Gonzenrock at this point. Okay, let's uh do a preparation. Let's do a healing. Let's do a stab. Um... I mean... That was pointless. Okay, Blasting Rock is now dying and bleeding. Uh... Who's going next? He's going next, then he's going. There's no way we can get the kill on him. No, there is. Boom! Boom! Okay, so now only one person gets to take their turn. That's a good amount. Okay, see, chat? It's all about eliminating. Okay, it's all about, like, management, you know? So now this guy goes next, but he's poisoned. Can we suffer someone to be poisoned? Who goes after that? Then you go. That's fine. Yeah, we attack you. And Blazin Rock is dead. But he dies to the poison. Here lies Blazin Rock. Dead to the goddamn poison again! Learn to dodge goddamn poison! Damn it! You idiot! I think you get more members, but, uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, uh... Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, uh... Felix unlocked the trait instinctive. Just like me, when I instinctively die. Shoot him? Hey, we shot someone. I don't think good enough. Look, someone's gonna die to that wolf. Might as well be you, Pootis. I don't know. I mean, the, the bum. Um, hmm. Okay. A new round is starting. A new world is beginning. Where will you be on this day? Give him the shot! Good shot in there, Krug. Okay, end your turn. You run behind the wolf. Give him the stabs! Hmm. I mean, I don't think we lose here at the very least. We're not dead. Uh... Hmm. Is that a five damage punch? Dang, that's a tough punch. How many people are about to be down to? Okay, so... We have to kill the wolf before Scragger takes his turn and then he lives. Yes! Oh, a crit of crits! So who did we lose? Yeah, we lost Blazen Rock. And we got a lot of leather, so when you think about it, actually we're winning. Um Camp Chest. How's my inventory doing? Not great. My inventory is kind of screwed. Wait, that's actually a better weapon. Wait, is that a better weapon? Wait, I think that's a... Oh, god damn it. Our two-handed warrior died. Right, right. Were any of these better? Damage dagger, dexterity plus four. Wait, damn. Scraggers is a dexterity plus three. Let's take that out. Rusted Shiv Torch. Torch Strike. No, it's not good. Um, okay, Scragger, take the somehow slightly better damage dagger and then let's level you up. Okay, Poisoner Strategist Cutthroat. Gregor will be the cutthroat. Oh, sorry, he needs to level up stats. Two movement. Sure, why not? Felix, what do you level up into? Okay, so he's our protector. This unit gains deflection. If they're gained in combat, you get one thing. Defensive stance. Okay. Valorous chain. Every time you hit attack, it's all enemies. No, we go with defensive stance because that can generate the points needed to continuously generate the points we need to continuously generate the points we need. Why is it always two movement? Ugh, okay. You level up two decks. Let's... Wait, are bows decks weapons? Yes, they are. Hunter. Hunter. Recoil shot. Deals 8 to 12 damage to the target, knocks them back by 2 meters, and applies slowdown. Beastmaster. All allied animals next to the target attack them. We can do that. Infantryman. Barrage. Target specific area. Performance of an attack of opportunity against the first three enemies crossing the area. Oh, I forgot. All these are really good. No, you have to dual wield daggers. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's right. Wait, these are special attacks. From what I remember, infantryman was the best. But hunter's also really good. Krug... Let's do Valorous support. We can't all be Valorous killing. You know what I mean? 
Like, not everyone can be getting the killing blow. I guess Krug do two extra willpower. You can't choose your weapons. Yes, yeah, Gregor can't equip the Beck de Corban of the Guard. Chat. I, I can't have everyone being everything. Okay, so who did we lose this time? I think we lost a lot of people. I mean, we didn't... We lost our thief, at any rate. And nobody died, chat. Nobody's died. I think maybe one or two people died, but... Wait, is Pudis dead? No, we got Pudis, we got Scragger, we got Krug, and we got Felix. Carcass. Animal remains. Guys, just eat the carcass. And the wine. And... Two sardines. We pay our wages, they get happy, and then they get more XP. I mean, that's good. Yeah, the, 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 the horse leveled up, chat. Oh my god, dude, why is there so much inventory? Okay, uh, I guess put the... Put the carcasses away, the food away. Oh, it's because we got 19 fangs. Is this the only game ever made where, like, you actually get enough fangs? I'm assuming if I go crafting with this stuff, I don't need to go fishing it out of my inventory. Resin. If I do need to fish stuff out of my camp chest to go crafting with, that would be quite annoying. Wait. Carrying capacity, weight in your inventory. Putting stuff in the goddamn camp doesn't even help. What's the point of a goddamn camp thing if, like, it doesn't actually help? Well, that's subpar game design. Okay, well, we gotta drop some stuff. Drop the animal carcasses. All right, we're good. Oh man, we have uh we definitely have an issue with this uh dying issue I mean do we have money um we, we do have money okay I can't find that town thing and it's kicking my ass to be in winter wonderland can we not get down here brotherhood training grounds I'm a brotherhood can I train can you tell like what there is to click on is there is there a button or do I just need to like mouse my okay. If one of your companions doesn't carry their weight, don't be afraid to teach them new skills. We can help you with that. For a price. Weapon upgrade. If one of your companions doesn't Okay. I can't talk to you guys. I can't do anything else. This game is very odd. It's a very odd game. All oh, right, we need to go bury someone. Um, who died that we need to bury? Blazenrock. Oh shit! I just dropped his body on the ground. Uh, oops. Might I interest you in my humble way? Smuggler's helm, a heavy helmet. Unusual outlaws, critical damage, guard, and attack. Venomous coating. Armor 6, guard 3. What does guard do? Deserter's Qatar. I'm gonna buy that helmet. I mean, it's only 50. Um, Who is it? Felix. Wear the heavy helmet. Wow, that looks really out of place, but okay. 
Honestly, Chad, I got a good feeling about Felix. He just keeps getting more and more armored. I mean, what's his armor now? Guard. Oh, that's guard. Okay, so yeah, he's like he's like giga tanky, Chad. He's a giga tanky man. Chad, Newfire's not gonna be the strongest party member. You know what? I'm gonna make my uh, I'm gonna make my DMPC, Chad. We're gonna get my own party member. Cause we're kind of down to four people. It's not great. Let's think here. Oh, that's right. We we have no blacksmith. Uh, let me exit out here. No, it's not the town hall either. It's the inn. I want to see the world before set. A swordsman. Oh, he's a two-handed swordsman. He's perfect. Recruit. Tharwin? More like... Chin... Win. And he levels up. Let's see. Fighter, protector, or swordsmaster. Let's see. Fighter... Can wear heavy armor. Destabilization. Guard reduced to zero. Swordmaster. Laceration. Deal six damage to all enemy units. Oh, that's right. Swordmaster does cha 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 I think we go with fighters so we can wear heavy armor. Plus, not everyone can be the main carry. Double level that strength. Shinwin is perfect, chat. I'd rather become a mercenary than beg on the map. Another swordsman, chat. I don't want to be upstaged. I'd like to discover a new place. Another ranger? We kind of don't need that many rangers. But we do need six party members. I'd rather become a mercenary than beg on the market. Damn it, Chad, she's gonna try to upstage me. Is Millie still here? Chad, if Millie's here, we'll get her. If Millie's not here, then we can't do it. Shinwin is not gonna die, Chad. Shinwin only wins. That's why they call him Shinwin. Otherwise, his name would be Shin Lose. It's not, it's not like I made the name. Oh my god, Millie is here. Fine. We will get the new Millie. I'll be honest, I don't... Like, Swordsman's fine, but... We're just gonna get more fighters, because they can wear heavy armor. Okay, what do you double level up? Oh, of course, it's strength. But my character is stronger. Look, Shinwin is 10 strength. Damn it, Shinwin's... No, Shinwin's 10 strength, chat. Shinwin for the win-win. Okay, so Shinwin will be our blacksmith. Blacksmith. Millie can be the woodcutter. Wait, was our woodcutter dead? No, I can be a woodcutter. Okay. Um, okay, um. 
Come, come. Take a look at my wares. Well, it's all the extra saddlebags, I suppose. We need cloth. Come, come. Take a look at my wares. Then with that cloth, we will forge up rags. I forgot forging had this little mini game. Rags. Oh, I like Giga leveled it, Jet. I did a better rags. Let's also make that targe. Boom! Is that that's a level two targe? How good is it? Card twelve, armored seven. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's make more rags. Complete five forges in a row perfectly. More perfect rags. Well, let's make that last set of rags because they're actually better than what we're wearing. Bullshit! Bullshit! <sighs> um, okay, so let's see here. Millie... Millie can get the slightly worse rags. That way I don't die first. I get the good ra I get the good... Um, huh, that's weird. Let's see, and then we should give the other one to, um, Scragger, so he doesn't die. Okay, so now, let's see, you have a barrel lid, now you have a shield. Oh my god, he is tanky. I don't think Felix is dying, chat. I don't, I don't think, I don't think... Oh, is that you get? Oh, a throwing knife, right. Oh, we ran out of leather. Hold on. I think he had one. Come, come. Take a look at my. Throwing knife, throwing sickle. Okay, guard four. Critical damage five guard critical hit. Let's go for a critical hit. Oh, it just makes it. Are there any recipes? Okay, blacksmith apprentice. Apprentice blacksmith set armor. Reinforced plate. Oh. I will go out, yeah.
Oh. Yeah, not more cloth and iron. What did the trickster do wrong? Take a look at my wares. Let's just buy the cloth because it's like kind of hard to find cloth, and everyone else just does food. Um. Well, we don't need these farmer rags anymore or this barrel lid. Okay. So you, yeah, have the throwing knife that gives you more critical hit. That seems pretty good. Do you only get one? That's probably fine. Can you wear the hat now? Hey, he's got the hat on. Felix has a hat and Shinwin. Willpower, critical hit, armor seven. That's pretty good. Come, come. I gotta talk to him, Jed. I just... Come, come. Take a, take a look at my wares. Jed, is anyone else addicted to him talking about his wares yet? Or is it just me? Oh god. Reinforced plates, a lot of iron ore and cloth. This is less iron ore and cloth, but leather. Padded jacket is mostly leather. Hmm. But reinforced plate's pretty good. Okay. Isn't there a mine? I think it's a sinister cave. The sinister cave is all the iron, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can find iron anywhere, but you know what I mean. I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs. Hmm. No. Hmm. I don't know if I would trust 60 hours to beat, uh... Dragon's Dogma 2. I mean, I did it in 40. Might I interest you oh, in what's this? Worshipper's Tunic. Light armor. Who needs battle plate when you're blasted the old seeing eye? Movement critical hit armor. Pole arm. Strength plus 5. Okay. Oh my god, that's right, our spearman died. Shit. Oh, no, I feel stupid. I bought that whole expensive-ass axe, dude. Just steal shit from right in front of him. Oh, you mean Dark Souls, not Dragon's Dogma. Oh, well, I didn't do every additional as a thing, so maybe, maybe it would. But I thought it would take me twenty hours. Like the rate I was, I could clear areas in like an hour. Dark Souls One is not that big. Ah, mercenaries. Did Fergus send you to help us? Rovand hired you to kill me! I beg of you, don't do this! We do not enjoy bullying the farmers, you know? We, we have no choice if we want to survive. Rovand is the one who must die. I will match his offer. In fact, I can pay you more. And you would be doing a good deed. Once he is gone, the farmers of Chiltern will have no one to protect them. We won't have to force them to share their resources with us. Kill the captain. It's the only solution. What? So he's saying that if I kill the guard captain, hold on. 
He's saying that if I kill the guard captain, the farmers will have no one to defend them, so then they'll just be able to be killed freely. That's like his actual argument, that if we just kill the guard captain, like, and the dude, the thing is, he says it with such conviction, it's like gaslighting me. He's like, no, no, the guard captain is the bad guy. He's trying to guard the villagers. We're trying to take their money and he's stopping us. He's the bad guy. If he died, the villagers wouldn't have anyone to guard them. And then we could just steal all their stuff. Don't you understand? And you're sitting here like, I, what, but, what, why, what? <laughs> Dude, he's like sitting here giga gaslighting me, and I'm like, that. what you're saying kind of makes sense, but also you're purely evil, so wh I, 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 what? You know what I mean? He's saying it with such conviction, I believe him. Once he's gone, the farmers of Tiltron will have no one to protect them. We won't have to force them to share their resources with us. Like, he says it with such conviction and truth in his voice chat. I just, I almost believe him. Chat, am I doing a good guy run? Chat, we're a good guy. We're not evil. Okay. Sailor Ivo died, so now he's leaving. Sadness marks his day. Okay, I'm gonna keep Pudus a little bit far away. Okay, let's put uh, Tank Ricks up front, the two damage dealers in the back. Scragger will be scragulating in the background over here. Felix! Felify! This unit gains deflection. If you're engaged in combat, Felix! Felix him! Oh, wait, does Felix use my turn? You can use. Oh, it's a base action! Ah! to me now. So he needs to get in combat first. Okay, destabilizing strike. I don't think we really need to blow our points on this fight. Yeah, we really don't need to. Yeah, they can't get through Felix. He's too tanky. Does knife throw use an action? Honestly, I don't think we need to use our bonus actions here. Okay, I just realized having two great sword users is going to make this kind of difficult. Cause now I have two people trying to AOE non-stop. Don't hit Scragger. There we go. Who does unlock the trait Evil Eye? I need to look at what those do at some point. Okay, shooting anyone here is just suicide. Dang it. What the hell? Why does everyone in this goddamn game have AOEs, man? Oh, okay. Ringleader's dagger. Is this... Do we just only get loot for Scragger? Is Scragger just gonna slowly upgrade everything? Dude's on three goddamn daggers now. He's on his third dagger. Okay. So, Bertram is dead. 
My men and the good citizens of Tiltran will be glad to hear it. Was the bandit good or did the voice actor just do that intentionally to like mess with the player? Here is the reward the Lady Mayoress promised me. You deserve it. Goodbye. Um, we get 20 pilgrims, 25 influence and 100 gold. The filled fate of Tiltrin. The villagers no longer have to feel Tiltrin. Dude, I actually kind of like that. I'm going to be honest. I actually really like that the bandit voices himself with like strangely dedicated conviction to thinking that he's the good guy. It, it kind of actually works really well because it like actually like takes you back and confuses you. He's like, no, kill him, not me. You don't understand. And you're like, what? Why? Why are you saying it like that? Why are you saying it like that? That's so confusing. Why are you doing that? Might I interest you in my humble ways? My no, you cannot. Although, I'll be honest, we are kind of running low on raw materials. Yeah, you're the one I bought everything from. Okay, uh, we forgot to get more quests. Also, secondary problem. One of the quests we have, we can't really do. A refugee leader awaits you in Haven. <laughs> All right, we need to go save the refugees. We should have enough fish for the foreseeable future, so I don't really want to detour away for the fish. Okay, we need to go camp. Can we... <coughs> now, he already has everything we can do. I mean, can we learn more workshop stuff? No, we already did saddlebags. Cooking pot plus workshop. You can dismantle low-value weapons, armors, and accessories to get... Okay, that's interesting. Camp chest. Place the items you wish to keep in this chest. Yeah, there are definitely a lot of traveling merchants in this game. Can we cook any food? No. Wait. Is Felix the cook? Right, because it gives constitution. Oh, the camp chest food doesn't count. Okay. Fine. So there's no point in even having it in the chest anyway. Kind of wish the inventory UI was bigger. It's not a very big UI and it's kind of uh, irritating actually. Okay, let's put the bread in here. Oh wait, no, that's wolf. Um, eel? Is all this stuff worth four? Carp. Corresponding diet. Wait, what? Corresponding diet. One food. Carnivorous. Must consume meat or fish at every meal to be satisfied. Oh, I see. Who's carnivorous in our party? What happens once you get to like 10 people? I feel like turns will just start being really annoying. This haystack could, be, could serve either as a makeshift bed for a companion or a tasty snack for a pony. Decisions. Okay, well, we're putting the pony on it. The pony is eating food. Why do I vote to do all the killing? The others just aren't pulling their weight. I need to know I can count on them, too. You don't have any close companions, do you? No, you just hate two people because you keep murdering them. Raised by boars. Willpower increased by three as long as they're next to a boar in the camp. How are you raised by boars, Krug? That is weird let's see he got glorious chance to get generate valor pickpocket nimble dexterous didn't oh no it was pudis got some traits eagle eye precision increased by 10 percent hard working nimble jungle eagle eye i thought other people got okay you're thick skinned three percent base guard that's not too bad millie is carnivorous and confident she eats meat and tells you that you should too. I thought some other people got some traits, but I guess... Oh, shield kind of sir. 5% additional guard when holding a shield. That's pretty good. Chance of taking a critical hit reduced by 25%. Oh my god. Resilient. 5% chance of resisting poison, bleeding, and... Wait, Felix is rolling up insane traits.
Dude, Felix is the tank of tanks. He's the tank your girlfriend tells you not to worry about. Okay, so let's see here. We got iron two-handed hammer. How do I tell what a class can use? Two-handed sword. I'm going to assume... Okay, so we need leather. That's the big thing. We need leather. Well, I kind of want to build... Let's see. We also got helmets. Oh, boy. We just need... 10 good trillion supplies, eh? Come, come! Take a look at my wares! Take a look at his wares. Come. Come. Take a look. Take a look. Come, come. Take a look. Come, take a look. Come, come. Take a look. Come, come. Take a look. Come, take a look. Come, come. Take a look. Nah, not you, informant. You. Yeah, of course. You'll then have to no leave. Okay, we need to get Ketna. By these rugs. No, she's a brute. We don't need more two-handed people. I'd like to discover a new place. I don't need a ranger. As long as I eat my fill. What's your name? Cudham? Cudham? We don't need a warrior. We need a spearman. Basically, only a spearman. That's what we need. Okay. Um. Okay, let's go to the forge then. Okay. Come, come, take a look at my wares. We need a f iron helmet. Iron great falchion. We could also get two of these to do giga damage. We should probably only build one. I don't know. We can't build a hat because we don't have a cloth and rope. Those aren't very good. Honestly, these are good. The iron bassinet is kind of good. The iron barboot and bassinet are actually kind of good. The iron barboot, not so much. I didn't realize heavy armor wasn't that much better than light armor. Okay, fine. Let's make one gr iron great falchion. Easy. A job well done. Complete five forges in a row perfectly. I don't think I did that, but thank you. Okay, let's make an iron bassinet then. Perfect. 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 Cleave skill. What does that do? Cleave. Okay, so we've cleaved. Does 90% strength damage to all units in an area. Shielding one. This unit gains one extra guard for each reinforced layer applied. How do you reinforce? What is that? What does that mean? Let's do the iron bar boot. Because that gives us the uh, crafting bonus. Yeah, I'll just give Millie the iron, or sorry, medium helmet for now, because that gives us the knowledge bonus. Okay, so Millie... And what does this one do? Stability. Down checking by 10% for each debuff on the unit. Shinwin, take this helmet. Which means Pudis can take the regular helmet. Shinwin, take the Giga Falchion. Strength plus eight. Cleaver. Sorry, clever. Earn 5% more experience. Cleave. Deals 15 damage to all units in the area. Okay, I mean, that's pretty good. Sapphire, sellable item. It only sells for 20 gold. I mean, it's the archers kind of look shitty because, well, I don't really have anything better for them right now. I bought this item with all my gold and, uh, boy, did not do a lot. Um, in, then we go get some jobs. Might you be looking for work? Here is your reward. Oh, we are rich. Loot bandits lair. 
Let's do some easy jobs, because they pay about the same as a hard job anyway. It's like, why break my back, Chet? Why break my back? Come, come. Take a look at my wares. Come, come. Take a look at my wares. Right, kitty? Okay, let's sell the old longsword. Let's sell the farmer's rags. Uh, at this point, Beck de Corbin of the Guard is probably going to be outdated by the time we can even use it. So there's no point in destroying my inventory for it. Um, I guess we sell the sapphire and the ruby. So how do I put a, uh, quote, layer, armor layer available? What does that mean? Come, come, take a look at my wares. Come, come, take a look at his wares. Okay, so where do we get iron? I thought there was a way to, like, mass produce iron in this game. <laughs> Hey, Buddhist is he's, he's in here. He's. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sir? No. Okay, so it's Oldham Gang, Amateur Hunters. The Highland Trackers? Where's that? We should go to that salt mine at some point, but we can't right now. Okay, let's go over here. And we'll do that one, and then we'll do the left one. Our pathing broke. There's some wood. That was mushrooms. We're gonna eat it like it was wood, though. Chat, my people have no food. Okay, let's, uh, I know that symbol. That symbol means, like, armor or something. So we can go to you. Might I interest you in my Smuggler's layered answers. armor. Medium armor. A legion pylum. A pole arm. Wonderful. Um. Carrying capacity six. I mean, that's pretty good. Then we can give that to Miley. And then... I think... We have officially gotten everyone out of the basic starting armor. I think so. Okay, we're, we're good now, chat. Everyone's all leveled and shit. We are very rich and powerful men. So, um, let's see. We got the help requested animatronics. Unaware of the danger they face, a handful of Adorians have gone hunting in Sika's forest. Someone must warn them lest they get eaten. Why? What's in the forest? Well, pilgrims are just here, you know, pilgrimaging. Let's get that iron. There's only two iron. Iron becomes gear, so that's always good. Let's actually look at my knowledge for blacksmithery. Blacksmithering weapons. Okay. Rintage. Reinforced buckler. Is it worth spending an entire knowledge point to just upgrade your shield once? That does not seem worth it. Apprentice experienced weapon set. Blacksmith experience required. Okay, fair enough. Tinkering. Whip. Assign companion. You can whip your companions to encourage them to whip. What? Okay. Campfire plus. Dude, why? You just unlocked the whipping bonus? People just get whipped? I'm just sitting here like, wh what? Weighted training. Carrying capacity increased by 10. For money. Crowns gained after a battle increased by 5%. Maximum valor points increased. Suspicion meter depletes quicker. Location markers. Restoration. 
Repair materials and village blacksmiths restore five additional armor points. Okay, that could be really good though. On the relationship screen, two enemies can use the insult action to gain the sociopath trait for 300 influence. How do I make people like each other more? Wait, that was it. Wait, are these the people I'm supposed to be talking to? Wait, I think they are. Um. We came to hunt for food for our families, but the animals here, their calls are enough to make the hair stand on end. I'm beginning to wonder if we did the right thing coming here. But now that we're here, we can't go back empty-handed. What? So I need to give them some of my leather? I need to give them some of my wolf to make them leave? I can't just be like, yo, screw off, buddies. Uh, wolf is a lot of food. They're asking me to give them 20 food. What do you think of that, kitty? Kitty, you're just, you're right, you're just right in front of me. What's wrong with the guy on the left? He's having a little bit of a mental breakdown, Chad. He he couldn't mentally deal with the situation at hand. He's he's having a little bit of an oopsie poopsie. My mental got doopsied. You know what I mean? Dude's dying, Chad. I'm trying to say the dude is literally dying. He he is dying. Aren't they refugees looking for food? What I can't I can't just tell him like, hey buddy, you're trying to hunt wolves. Could you could you not? I can't just be like, could you stop? Cause you stop trying to hunt wolves? What do you think about that one, Kitty? What do you think about that one, Kitty? Do you think they shouldn't hunt wolves, Kitty? Mm. Kitty, my arm is not a pillow. Kitty. This is not arm pillow time. Let's see, do I need rope or do I need pittance? I don't know what a pittance is, but I'll give them the wolf because I don't want to use my influence. <gasps> All this? That's incredibly generous of you. With no more need to hunt, we'll be able to return home. Take this. We won't be needing it. Okay. You've just completed the mission. Okay, let's go down here then. And, uh... Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the mission over here. Uh, we didn't do that earlier. But that was kind of because we were gonna die. The wolves are a bit stronger than us. But honestly, I get a good feeling about our troop now. We got some weapon upgrades. Uh, we got some better gear. Oh my god, we keep getting stuck on the terrain right now. Oh man. Okay, so now we go up here and... Uh, let's see, so we're looking for uh, some uh, raw materials to repair. That's just food. That's... Uh... Edorian Crossing. Well, we don't need that. Yeah, it's this campaign game. You don't like this campaign? War Tales. Do do do. What do you got, that, kitty? You think I'm out? Kitty, got gunk in your eye. Can I? Can I ungunk your eye? Kitty, let me just. There you go. Is this the guy we went to before? Because we could definitely use some gear right here. So we're looking for uh, some heavy armor. That's just the pylum again. Okay, we don't... That guy, we don't need you. We could go here, though, and we can get that wood. There's also Old Wilbert's Fishery. We're not really in any need, unfortunately. Oh, Pedora Mountain Mine. Is that going to get us iron? I mean, the question would be in multiplayer... Would it actually make the game more fun? Or would it just slow you down as everyone's like waiting to use their turns, you know what I mean? Or does everyone have their own squad walking about? Like how would a fight play out? Okay, so what do we have here? We got six people? Man, this is a problem with turn-based games. Turn-based games have a legitimate, um... Turn-based games have a legitimate problem, but once you start going beyond four people, the game starts really dragging. But this game wants you to have like eight. 
I don't know about that. For me and my friend, it was more fun. You probably not. Well, what do you do in multiplayer in this game? So we get two turns, and let's think here, okay, I think we do, I don't know, that won't work, okay, let me think here, you move here, give him the stabby babby, then scragger, move up, give him Devious Whirlwind. Okay. Wait, I can also knife throw. That seems really good. Uses remaining. I have four knives. Okay. And then Frenzy. I mean, is this really going to be a situation where we need to use all our points? Probably not. Kitty, what are you doing? Did you sniff my sandwich I ate and now you're licking the blanket trying to... Kitty, cats are stupid. Don't, don't lick my blanket, Kitty. You don't know where that's been. Well, I'm on the ground mostly. But don't need don't like a blanket spin on that ground. What are you doing? Stop it. Stop it. Why does this guy always crit? Why does Putus always crit? He's like a he's like a critting maniac, dude. No one should be critting that much. Oh, that's an AoE. Oh, that's right, the AoE selects their air- Oh man, I forgot how bad this game is for, uh, AI. Kitty, why are you in front of me now? Okay, so let's sink here. We got debilitating strike, which we do have a free point. But we're not in melee, so we can't even use it. Yeah, that's what this boss does, the first boss you fight. He does this over and over. So if you ever end up with a character, um, like what you need to do is you need to look at whose turn it is, right? So like this guy's gonna move. Um, you need to like make sure that the characters that are gonna get whacked, uh, don't get whacked. Which, uh, you know. Oh, I didn't do any damage. <laughs> Discussing game tactics is the main fun for us. Uh, I mean, I, I can get it. Oh man, the stabilizing strike does so much damage though. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, that's actually crazy. Why is destabilizing straight crazy? It occurs to me... I should... have not kept these two in range because then I had to use two of my points to kill them before the other guys got to move okay well hold on here you used your movement you used your movement can you just shoot him and not hit our ally yes he can what is this chipped axe Can Millie use a chipped axe? No. Who uses two-handed axes? Let's see. Swordsman can. Brute 
uses maces, right? Who uses axes? Not you. Iron ore. New profession. Miner. Why is that even a profession? Uh. Okay, uh... We'll shoot. Cooking gives more constitution, but we kind of need a miner. Nine iron ore, okay. Oh, there's two more. Is this like XCOM combat? Yeah, it, I would say that's about it. It's like XCOM combat. The big focus of the game is that your units are quite squishy. Whereas in XCOM, you kind of need to... Uh, this isn't like an insult to XCOM, mind you. But like in XCOM, you kind of need to like... Really screw up to have a character finally die. You know what I mean? In this game, it's like... A couple rounds of combat. All the XCOM players are about to come at me and be like, Well, actually, you know the... What, what is their name? The Mutalisks, or whatever their names are. If they crit twice on you, you die. Sure, I mean, but the thing is, you can also crit in this game. Okay, so we go back to that mine. Is it Mutalisk? M Mortalisk, maybe? Something like that? Okay, so we don't have a cook anymore. Felix, y'all can't cook. Just stay, stay there. Monolith. This stone is no particularly meaning for ordinary mortals, but a scholar might learn from it. Assigned scho- Dude, do I just need 20 goddamn professionals? Oh my god. Um... Hold on here. What does the advanced tent do? Because we have so many people on the tent. Nothing. We kind of need workshop plus so we can generate raw materials because it, uh, it's a bit of an issue. We need more wood for that. Okay. You can have slaves for doing some jobs. Ha! Huh? What? I mean, you have slaves, like actual slaves. Is it is it that kind of game, or do you mean like characters who do nothing other than why is my fatigue going up? I didn't think your fatigue just went up naturally. Or is that like... The the way we're moving leads me to believe that we're like giga exhausting to death. If I had to just guess. Just to, just to do... What is this? Tree stump. Oh my god. You. Chop. That. Tree. Chop. That. Tree. Chop. That. Tree. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're at maximum restedness. We got resin. We already had 26 resin. Your companions become more experienced. You can now appoint one of them as captain. Is that another job? Dude, how do I have so many jobs? You have to have eight companions? Eight companions? For a turn-based gate? That's ridiculous. Shinwin will be the captain. Captain Shinwin. You can now craft the strategy table. I've had more cloth. Devise a combat strategy to defeat your opponents. High ranking companion assigned. Generates an additional 
that thing. I mean, fair enough. We're not forgetting the booze for Pudis. It's just that, like, there's, like, no point. Because, like, I keep looking at it, and I'm like, we're at 15 maximum happiness. I think in the future we'll probably have to, but for now, not so much. Why would I need to inspect the sign? Why? Okay. Sure. What do pilgrims do? Can I trade with you? Pilgrim! How are there, pilgrim? We have nothing. We are only refugees fleeing the Ederanian war. Please let us go. I beg you. Give them bread. Now, I'm not gonna kill you, but I'm also... I want your... I want my bread. You're not getting my bread. Okay, so can I go up there? Is that... Yeah, I think that's where I go. You had 10 mercenaries, 3 alpha wolves, 2 bears, and an alpha boar. How gonna be an alpha boar if there's no regular boar? What's it the alpha of? I feel like once you start getting to 10 turns, the combat's gonna actually start getting really annoying. Ah, I keep holding shift too long. Paths. Special troop challenge. Apprentice friends looking for an adventure. Form two positive relationships within the troop. And then I grow more PP. That's also a good point. How do you have three alphas and no beta wolf? Ghost wolf. Ghost boar. Are they going to be actual ghosts or is this just like the name... You know what I mean? Is this going to be the name? Is that, is that a ghost? I can't tell if it's just snowy or if I'm actually fighting g g g g g g ghost boar. Um, let's see. We're going to start us off with... Actually, here's what I'm thinking. Let's just do a debilitating strike. Into an AoE. Galvanized troops. Right, I forgot about that. G -g 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 Ghost boar. Why is he terrorized? He knows it's not an actual ghost boar, right? My troop is stupid. Damn. I don't know why I thought that would kill him. Oh well. I need to get my tank a better weapon too. So let's see. End of, we get four turns until their next turn. If we can't kill them all... In four turns, I don't know what to say. A nightmare just appeared. Ghost wolf, nightmare. What? Okay, I'm gonna kick this thing and s hit it so it doesn't get a turn. Never mind, it suddenly just got really tanky. Ghost Wolf. What's with the nightmare? What does the surrounded debuff do? I wish I knew these things. There's supernatural stuff, but you don't get mages. Interesting, interesting. Um, His attack is an AoE now, so if I put him next to my ally, we're just gonna die. Punch him. Punch that wolf. Punch that wolf. 
Punch that wolf. Give him a shot. Good shooting, Tex. What did it do? Shoot ghost goat energy at me? Do I got ghost goat energy goo on me now or something? Shoot him with the shot. Run up. Shoot him with the shot. Hello, monkey. Are you here to make a monkey out of this game? Ha 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 ha. Okay, you go up here. Engage him in combat. This guy needs to get a better weapon. Will the AI ever actually just break out of combat? If they realize you don't do any damage. So I know some games do and some games don't. I remember in Baldur's Gate 3, it was something a lot of people are getting mad at. Because the AI would just straight up. Like if the AI... Um, well, we can do a frenzy. Yeah, I was about to say, because we have, we have two temporary points. We can easily take that. Red eyeball. We're starting to run out of raw materials here. Because hmm. I, I, that was one thing people got really mad at in Baldur's Gate. Was the AI would just constantly ignore you and run past you if you weren't doing any damage. And... Yeah, some people were getting really pissed off at that. Okay, we could go with the war pony. This unit can now fight and wear armor plating. Or working pony, carrying capacity increased. Sorry to new fire, but like, oh my god. I do not want more characters in combat. That is so annoying. Or do I? Or do I? More turns, less fun. Dude, you get more turns, it's not as good. Yeah, I don't I don't want to there comes a certain point where we have so many turns in combat is this the temple I was looking for and like did I have to like enter it to get the quest to complete I probably did this probably feels like one of those games where like even if you see the temple you have to like trigger yeah okay you have to trigger a response complete 100 contracts in one game I'm thinking some of these aren't exactly right. White leather. You know, how much leather do I have? Three? I mean, are there any more wolves up here? We could just sort of, uh... Who are you guys? Random bandits. We need workshop plus. Okay, so we have Workshop Plus. Now what? How do I... Bonus, you can dismantle all of you weapons, armor, and accessories to attain. Do I just like put them into the campfire? How does that work? How do I, how do I just get them? Damaged dagger. Chipped axe. Uh... No, we're we're a mercenary band, chat, and we're mercenaring. It's just, you know, I'm I'm mercenaring. Yeah, I, I should definitely get the blacksmith armor to upgrade bows. That'd be a good one. Which one is that? Three, longbow, iron spear. I feel like longbow is too often just used as upgraded bow when actually it should actually be really different. I think the only game that actually did that well. Off the top of my head was Bannerlord. Because Bannerlord actually made longbows like a completely separate thing from bows. I mean, they were both bows, right? But the longbow couldn't be used on horseback and you uh, couldn't um, notch an arrow while moving. 
Was that the change? No, I think it was something else. No, you couldn't shoot while moving. Even though shooting while moving was, uh... Not really common, because it didn't do much. Old sh Wilbert's Sheepfold. Inspect. Beer. We can steal his beer. Inspect. We can steal his mutton and apples. My parents were sheep farmers back in I do like the voice acting they added. It's not great voice acting, but it's voice acting. And I saw hope in their eyes for the first time since we left. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we've just learned that this building belongs to a man called Wilbert. I would like to meet him and convince him to let us stay here. But I would feel safer if mercenaries such as you could escort me. The good people of Titran do not look kindly upon us refugees. I fear this Wilbert person might become violent or refuse to even listen to me. I am willing to give you all I have for my parents' safety. I get a medallion and 20 valor. Oh, thank you. I will meet you there. My daughter is very proud to have secured this sheepfold, but we lack the necessary materials to rebuild it. Would you be willing to trade some for a little food and a very useful recipe? They want wood. Ah, uh, when Lord Lahart burned down my What do you mean they secured this sheep hold? They just sort of walked in and took it. this place. A true blessing from the eye. I'm confused. They're like, we secured this sheep hold. Dude, you walked in and took it. I don't know. Like what? I mean, I, I, look, you can be as positive to, to refugees as you want, but y'all didn't secure a sheephold by walking in and just settling down while the owner wasn't there. I, I don't think that's securing to me anyway. Rope needs hemp. Okay, so... How, Chad, how do I break down these... Materials. Bonus. You can dismantle low value weapons, armor, and accessories to obtain. How do I break them down? I'm like trying to figure. I mean, is this low quality? The crafting menu. I don't see shit. Oh, dismantling. Okay, here we go. It not really low quality, it's kind of everything. You can just dismantle everything. Oh, okay, we got two wood, iron ore, leather, and raw materials. Okay, that's pretty good. I wonder what I would get for dismantling my throwing knives. Because there's three of them, and they were easy to build. Okay, uh, they, they must have fixed this. Someone else other than me must have thought of this exploit already, and they don't let you do it. They're like, no. No. I'm like, come on. They're like, no. Why do I lose a happiness? I shouldn't lose a happiness. Oh, that's right, I don't have a cook for that. And we got two more raw materials for repairing. Yeah, we have a drunk. Pudis is a drunk. He's doing drunk Pudis things. Why refuse? 
We are sheep farmers. If you would just let us stay in the sheepfold, we could... Absolutely not. I inherited this barn from my sister. I will not let anyone take it from me. But you are not even using it. You are a fisherman. What use would you have for a sheepfold? That is none of your business. I will do as I please with my property. And I will do what I must to protect it from raiders. I feel like they've said he inherited it to make you like be like, oh, it wasn't even his. He inherited it. But if he inherited it from his sister, that means it's his dead sister's sheepfold, which now you're trying to make someone give up their dead sister's sheepfold. Maybe he's got sentimental value. Honestly, at this point, not starting to uh, not actually sound that good for them. I guess they're trying to be more neutral with their wording and not exactly like pro one or the other, you know what I mean? But saying he inherited it from his sister is definitely, uh... But it's not being used. Can't he just hire them and work on it? Well, we can see. We'll see what they allow me to do here. It's like a weird point-and-click action adventure. That sheepfold or not. That has nothing to do with it. That pile of rubble is mine. That woman has no right to stay there and is making a fuss. I'll pay you handsomely if you make her leave. I mean, I kind of have unlimited goals. So I could threaten him. I get wanted. I could bribe him. Now, I could accept it and make him leave. Dude, just take the gold. I got like infinite gold. But if you want to buy the sheepfold, that's a whole other story. That pile of rubble is all your... or theirs, for all I care. Okay. Has he accepted? Oh, blessed to be the all-seeing eye. You cannot imagine what this new home means for the three of us. Please, accept this as a token of our gratitude. I have to go. I must tell my parents the wonderful news. They will be thrilled. Okay. Let's right, so we got a medallion. Willpower. That's right, I forgot. You have uh will what does willpower do again? Increases critical hit. Well, I guess we just toss that on Scragger. He's got a 20% chance to crit now. Okay. So now we need to go all the way to the north for that next quest, but I think it would be better if we just went through the town and picked up more quests anyway. Eh. I mean, it could be sentimental to him, but he could also need the money more, chat. They're not exactly giving you his side of the story. Do I need more food? I just fished up a shitload. Okay, what do we got here? Uh... We made an iron bassinet. Reinforced plate armor needs more cloth. Let's see. We need another iron great falchion, but I don't want to do that yet. Who uses the two-handed axe? Boy, I wish I could tell. Can you can you click on a character and see what they can use? Wait, they can use a shield. We don't have a cook. We have negative cooks. Well, we definitely need the longboat, but we could also build the throwing sickle and hatchet to get uh, knowledge. Because <coughs> you want to, the first time you craft something, you get knowledge. So it's definitely something you want to do, from what I've noticed. Because um, otherwise, you can end up soft locked. Okay, so what do we need again? We just need cloth. I don't know where we get cloth normally. Let's see, you. Come, come. Take a look at my wares. Come, come. Take a look at his wares. Come, come. Take a look at it. Come, come. Take a look. Come, come. Take a look. Come. How much leather do we have? Oh, we had none. I just bought the fucking long so Why did it change where the leather was? Who would do that? God dang it. Let's see, throwing sickle. 
It only sells for four, I suppose. But we can't even disenchant them. The throwing knife is what gives a critical hit, so that's the one we want. During the next rest, you have to pay your companions 81 gold. Okay, let's go to the inn. You, of course. You'll then have to meet the client. That guy is never... Nothing scares me, and I'm a quick learner. Jed. Oh, he's a spearman, finally. Jed, get in here, buddy. Priest of Goddess. Do you have a name? Wait, hold on, I should double check. Jed, does this... That does grow in strength. Okay, so level up your strength, plus two. Take, uh... Engage to an enemy and not engage, no. Next to an ally, not engage. Yeah, that's what we want. Do we have a woodcutter? Woodcutter. Can cut wood. We do have a woodcutter. What don't we have again? We don't have a cook. Let's do that. Cal rock? Okay, you can be... This dude. Cal rock. There you go, buddy. The other companions approve. Do the other companions ever not approve? Might she be looking for work? Here is your reward. Here is your reward. Loot Bandit's Lair. Vanquish Rut Rotosis Squad. Dude, why? I don't understand. The reward for doing a hard is not that bad. Or not that good, I should say. Why would I possibly do a hard contract for like 60 gold just to get massacred? It doesn't make sense to me. You have your work cut out for you. Doesn't look like there's anything to do in the town hall. Um... We don't have anyone who even does that. Hard contracts of higher level enemies which give better loot and more XP. Yeah, but I feel like I'm getting my ass kicked. I mean, I'm not. I do need more cloth, though. Is there, like, a way to generate cloth? Okay, let's do cooking. We did grilled... Oh, that's right, we don't have salt. Go do a fishing. I feel like fishing gives you basically all the food you need. You just go through the annoyance of fishing, really. Which isn't bad. It's not bad, I guess. Catch 12 different species of fish. And you need to learn how to cook every single one of them individually, huh? That's annoying. Okay, the salt mine is right there. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go up here. Well, let's talk to everyone, because we always need more cloth. So like that. Oh, Kenneth Yates. Might I interest you in my humble ways, my good sirs? No. I'm gonna buy a fishing hook normally, because I always have to use my iron on it, and I always run out of iron. A chemical residue. No, no. Lavender, no. Rope. I think we need some rope. I'll get two, just to be sure. Now, I can't remember if the sinister cave ever fills with stuff or not. Oh, that was four. That was pretty good. Come here, Mr. Merchant Man. What you got for me, buddy? Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? Let's buy his iron. And nothing else, evidently. I see guard outpost fills with lumber, but not now. We got hemp. Locked. Use golden key. Ancient idol. Prayer book and gold. The lumber hasn't respawned yet. That's annoying. Yep, 
Yeah, I thought- I- I think this one might never spawn. I can't remember- I- I thought it did, because I remember coming back here all the time. But maybe it doesn't, I'm crazy. Okay. Let's go over here. I mean, we just need to pick up some loot. I mean, once we get some good loot, maybe we do the hard contracts, right? Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good Let's take them raw materials. Let's take all the wood you got. We got infinite money, we're fine. I specifically made my settings easy, so the game would never end. Never end. Five leather, okay, okay. Pretty good, what do you guys got? Might I interest you in my humble wares? Wheat. No, no, it's really nothing you have that I need. So what's that? Oh, there's wood. And over here is iron. Is that wood? More wood. More iron. Where's the gang? Well, they're right here somewhere. Some caves are not mines. Yeah, seems that way. So are these guys just gonna be low level? No, they're just four people again. Okay. You four assholes are about to get hit in the asshole. Okay, so we got two to the right, three in the middle. Okay. We're gonna go here. We're gonna open with the uh the Scragger kill, which seems to be my default play. So let's see, we have two turns and poacher goes. How long range is your AoE? Not really that long. Hypothetic, if I go here, yes, I can. Forget, use a knife throw. Good enough. can't even get in range. Dang. Shoot him so he doesn't do anything. He'll take a turn. Maybe I should have not let him take in a turn. 90% chance. There we go. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. Pittons are good for creating shortcuts at hills and mountains. What's a pitton? Defensive position. Defensive precision. Wait, what? That thing's crazy. That's a lot of damage. I don't want to shoot my teammates here. That's just a bad idea. But I could go with a barrage. I think barrage got nerfed. When I first played this game, I barraged literally every time. And now I'm looking at it and I'm like, I don't think I'm allowed to do that. But I definitely used to. Do the destabilizing strike. There we go. Easy peasy. And a little bit of lemon squeezy. Let's galvanize troops. Even though we're not gonna... Oh, I thought it would hit himself at least. Okay, I guess it doesn't. That's fine. A new round is starting. Um, okay, so we got infinite turns and he goes. So that should be easy. Um... All we need to do here is stab him. Kill him with, uh, Scragger. Scragger will generate a point. Yes. 
No, we don't let them go and win the battle. Will this take us over that? Okay, it tells us if it does and it doesn't. Okay. I remember last time I played Barrage, it was Barrage and Spears was the most broken shit and it actually made the game so boring because all he did is go three archers, three spearmen and then he just took the spearmen, put them in defensive formation so they attacked enemies that ran up um, and then he just had all the archers uh, overwatching it the enemies would run up, get hit by the spearmen, double shot by the archers, die it was funny for like a little bit but eventually I was like, hey, kind of getting old like real life yeah I suppose I suppose Spears got did that that's probably for the best I, I think when archers and spears were OP the game was actually worse some people will complain but I I think the game was definitely worse okay let's grab the bow and the light armor You know, honestly, I'd give the bow to Pudis, but Krug has just been shooting allies like crazy. So, at this point, it's just funny to give it to him. And then take the jacket. It wasn't even triggering the barrage. That worked and was funny. But it was the fact that, like, spears would hit an enemy, knock them back. What was it? They ran into range... Yeah, the hat. The enemies would run into range. Get shot by an archer. Then hit by the spear. The spear would knock them back. Then they would get overwatched again. Ugh. It's not Bannerlord, no. And then they would just be dead by that point. Because they would have taken two archer shots. And it was funny, I guess, a few times, sure, but eventually I was just like, okay, why am I even playing this game? There's like, there's definitely a certain point that a lot of people don't want to admit where overpowered shit is so overpowered that it breaks the game in a way that isn't even that fun. I played Banner Saga. Which one's Banner Saga? The enemies are demoralized and flee. Yeah, sure, screw it. Why not? Honestly, I have nothing better to do. Raider's bow. Have mercy, good sirs. We didn't attack you to hurt you. Believe me. We only wanted to scare you. So that you would hand over your crowns. Please don't hurt me. It was wrong and we knew it. But Gossenberg requires so much gold to cross the border that we had no other choice. We have no other choice but to rob travelers. Oh my god. Chat. If I execute them, I get cloth. Dad, the dog eat dog world. Every time you sit, hit several enemies. Valor's chain is good for swordsmen. Chat, it just happens. Some bandits attack you. They're like, no, sir, please don't kill us, sir, sir, please, please. We were just trying. Now, how do we even know their story is true? We don't. We don't. So, improvised bow to shoot. They just vicious shot, which knocks people back. Hmm. That could be good, but it could also be really annoying. Why do I always pick the double stat option? Because it's literally double the stats. How can I resist, Scragger? That's two stats. 
Otherwise, it's just one stat. Ooh. The workshop level up gives us way more. I think we're good on Armorsmith stuff for now. I think getting the double workshop is probably the best way. Because now we can dismantle these shitty clothes. Look at that. Oh wait, it said it would be more. That's not more. That's only five. Hmm. Oh, it says up to two. Okay, fine. You win this round with your English classification abuse. Plus, the other thing, Gregor, it's not even that bad a deal. Because Shinwin's gonna wear heavy armor, which reduces his movement speed anyway. And because he AoEs, um... Pike. Dang. We only have four food. Okay, well, hmm. Pay the wages. Man, we fished so much, I thought we would have more. Scregor as a quest. I began a mercenary to travel the world and slay bandits. Not to break stones and cook all day. Oh, come on. What's with this group? We don't do any of that. In fact, we've pretty much done the opposite, have we not? Gain 64 XP as Tinkerer. Yeah, okay. I don't know what that does, but okay. I mean, I'm assuming it boosts his stats, maybe? He becomes a... Oh, yeah, it does. So he gets a higher level Tinkerer. Critical hit plus six. He's up to 23%. That is a bizarrely high amount. Actually. Wait, what did you guys have? My, I interest you in my humble ways, my good sirs. Now. Why am I going here? Oh, I know you. Go away! Go away! I'm starving! I'm beginning to lose control! I might kill you! A plague rat bit my husband while he was out chopping wood, and Stromcap has cast us out. Ever since, I've had a very hard time finding enough food for him. I've nothing to offer in return, but could you take care of him? Take care of him? She's being ambiguous with this wording, chat. Are we gonna take care of him? Or are we gonna take care of him? You know what I mean? Are we taking care of him or are we taking care of him? Are we fixing the problem or are we fixing the problem? Are we finding a solution? I heard what my wife told you. She's right, you know. I will eventually turn against her. Do what you must. I'd rather die than hurt her. Execute. Gets infected blood X3. We can just recruit him? We can recruit a plagued man? What possible benefit does that have for us? I don't understand. This doesn't seem like at all like a good thing, chat. I, I'm not- I'm not sure about this one. I gotta do it because now I'm just curious. Your companions doubt he's up to the task. Me too, buddy. 
Uh, me too. Wait, there's a warrior class? Berserker. Medium armor. Executioner. Medium. Sentinel. Ovation. The next time this unit is attacked by their engaged opponent, the attack can return. I didn't realize there was a warrior. That would have been so much cooler. He'll be a berserker. Take the double constitution. That's two times the constitution. What is your injury? Can I see your injury? Carnivorous. Must consume meat or fish at every meal to be satisfied. May the all-seeing eye give me the strength to go on living without him. Can't she go back in the city now? You know, because he's like gone. So wait, should I hold sprint or not? I feel it's like, like, doesn't it make you faster? So like... <laughs> Top right of his status menu. They can only eat meat and go f mad if they're famished. Okay. Yeah, I mean, now we have more characters to take turns in combat. Our action economy is unbeatable. That is a very small inspect button. Was there more? Boy, this camera zoom doesn't really feel like it's zooming when you really look at it. More feels like, uh, we're just tilted a little bit. Chat, we don't need a cure. Did I remember to find your corpse? No, we, we chucked it in the road. I think it got eaten by some wolves. We didn't even bury it. I accidentally just chucked it in the road. I was like, ah, shit. So like, should I not be sprinting? Because I feel like this game is only tolerable if you sprint. The second you don't sprint, oh my god. Yep. Did merchants go to the town? What's out of a town is a farm. What are they just staying at a farm? They're trading with the farm? They know it's one farmer, right? Interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs. Surprisingly flexible and resistant. Proboskios has been dry and ground to a powder. Oh. How do you steal from a dude who's staring at you and selling you goods? With, like, seven bodyguards. <laughs> Wait, where'd all my money go? God damn. Why can't I kill the merchants? I don't have the money. I would have to fight the town guard. The town guard are always like, Arr! And I'm like, ah! And they're like, Arr! Do I buy this? Movement, critical hit, armor. Screw it. What kind of equipment can you use? I don't know. That's better, though. Yeah, that's probably... Probably better to put on the spearman who's, like, actually... Can I equip light armor? Because you didn't get 
Oh, right, because you he's a... Mm. Oh my god, if you don't sprint, I'm gonna die. Wait, who is that? Bandits! Chat, it's 9v3. It is an even fight. Give him the old scraggly daggly. Hi ya! Into the. Do, do, do. What shaw? That means they're demoralized and flee the battle. No. I do not offer to let them go. Hi ya! Hiya! Watch So, uh, can he eat the dead bodies? Carnivorous. Yeah, I mean, I have the human remains here. Can I. Can I let them eat them? How does this work exactly? Wait, so the guy with the plague can't eat them? Okay, we probably should drop the human remains out here then. Lest people in town go, Hey, how come you're carrying a bunch of human bodies? And I have to go, Ah, 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 ah. Okay, so we can finally create reinforced plate armor. Perfect, perfect, perfect! My perfect reinforced plate armor! Do 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 do. Okay, how do I do an armor layer? Okay, we also need to make long bows. Oh wow, we need rope for that. More rope. Wait, no, we can tinker. Yes, and we can create rope. Then we go back here, and now we can create the longbow. How am I smithing metal longbow? Perfect! 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 Okay, so who was the one with the bad bow? Yeah, the Raiders bow. Yeah, we don't need that. Dexterity plus eight. Dexterity plus six. Flaming arrow. Hmm. Realistically, Felix needs the Giga. Oh boy, that looks really cool. Dang, that looks cool. Why do you not have a class yet? Where's all my money at? Not the town hall. We need to go to the inn. We need to turn our quest. Why she be looking for work? Our role here is your reward. And then, let's see here. We'll do another quest. 
Exterminate rat infestation. They're looking for woolen cloth. No. Loot bandit's lair. Exterminate rat infestation. Okay. That doesn't seem difficult. They're just rats. Let's make more reinforced plate. Perfect! 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 Absolute perfection. Okay, now Shinwin, instead of these dang rags, will be in Giga Armor. Do 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 do. Why did I give her better armor than my character? Why did I do that? Indeed. Chad, these rats aren't giant. If they were giant, they'd be big. But they're not big. They're stupid. Is there anything else we can forge while we're here? I think we kind of used everything this time we're about. Yeah, we used all the iron to make these, uh... Giga armor. Taurus, you stayed down. Shinwin... Let's put Shinwin next to Felix, next to Millie. Okay, and then we got Pudus and Krug can be here. New fires over here, and then get Calrock. He could, he could just be over there. It's not a big deal. Okay, right, let's dismantle you and you and you. Farmer's rags, alien rags. These can both go. Outlaw's Tabard. I guess I can go too. Five parts, some iron or leather. Okay. When are we gonna play Dark Souls 2? Y'all are just like, I know you just played like 36 hours of Dark Souls in a row, but do you wanna play more? And I'm like, could I do something else? And you guys are like, it has been seven micros. Like, have you played it yet? I'm like, uh,. You guys like, have you played it yet? 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 I'm like, uh... Uh... Okay, let's make another iron bassinet. Perfect! 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 And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna toss that one over to Millie. And then we're going to put the medium helmet on this guy. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, 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 easy. Um... Hold on. The actual armor I built is better. So let's put the worst armor onto Shinwin because it looks cooler. Even though it's worse, it looks cooler. So we got that. So now our, our, our front line is pretty tanky right now. Decently tanky. I mean, two of them are tanky. Felix is 38% damage reduction when his armor is up, which is personal opinion pretty good pretty 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 good pretty 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 good it's pretty 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 good yeah i'll play i'll play it i just like I, what i'm saying is i just haven't gotten around to it yet like i'm i'm doing other stuff you know i'm uh i'm playing this game one might say there might be a uh opinion where I play this game. We have no other jobs yet. That just occurred to me. Tent. We never built a tent. Hitching post. 
Dang. We never did that either. Wait, some of this stuff's really good. We have more companions than we do jobs now. Maybe we have too many companions. Hmm. Hmm, we'll learn food later. For now, we rest. We have a lieutenant? That's fine, we'll do Lieutenant Felix. What does that do? Allies around this unit gain the orderly status. Usable once per encounter. This unit generates twice as much valor. Tactical order. Galvanize troops. Well, hold on. Let's let's check what they got here. And I'm pretty sure nothing. That's just a guy from earlier. Okay. Where are we going? Well, let's go get that wood at any rate. Um, I'll put out a review video for DD2 soon. I was working on it today, and then I just got bored of working on it. I had 15 minutes in it, and I was just like, ugh. Not like 15 minutes of work, but like 15 minutes done. Which included, you know, like, writing, recording, editing, putting in enough footage to show stuff. I think other people do less work than I was doing, and it occurred to me that people were doing less work when I had like five hours for 15 minutes, and I was like, I don't think other people like sort through all their footage and like constantly, like sure, some people do, if they get like a million views, like they can, you know, they can afford to take the time, but the people who do like spammy review videos definitely Stop do not. Right there. This salt mine belongs to her ladyship Gontrand. I can't just let you walk in. Threaten, generates wanted. Pay, persuade. Fuck off, dude. I got influence. As you wish. We can't mine the salt because of these two iron veins anyway. I really don't understand why you were so keen to go in there. Because I like the iron? Fuck you. Pick up. Lieutenant Felix, mine the iron. Chop. 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 Okay, where's where's the second one? Oh my god, he's got so much salt here. Sapphire and Ruby. Okay. You cleared out the iron deposits? Well done. We can get back to work. You have gained influence 20. Where's the goddamn salt though? I need the salt. Krug. Do a steal. People only have suspicion of me. They don't know anything for real. Chad, no one knows I did it. It's just a suspicion. You know what I'm trying to say? They're like, suspicious. They're like, well, maybe he did it, but I'm not smart enough to know. Oh my god, that's right. He can be the cook. I forgot about that. Do a cooking. He'd be a great cook. Do you see the way he's... Tormented with the plague? That's how you know he'd make a great cook. Okay, maybe maybe we make Calrock the cook. Calrock is already the cook. Yeah. Maybe maybe he should cook. The guy without the plague. It's just what I'm thinking out loud right now. What kind of food do we have here? We have bass. We can make bass fish soup. Bass fish soup. Grilled carp pike soup. Syrup. Syrup? The large amount of sap was boiled down to obtain one small flask of this thick substance. Thick substance. Grilled pork mutton. 
can we not do bass? We can do pike. But all we have is bass. We got perch. We ate all the sardines. Okay, let's do syrup then. Make me some syrup, boy. Oh, we got syrup. Okay. Well, I mean, we stole some salt, but now we don't have anything to make with it. Hawk word. How do I generate knowledge? I feel like getting knowledge gated is pretty bad. Well, I mean, bad from the perspective that it's not a good thing to happen, but bad from also that it keeps happening. Who killed these men and then also stole everything from them, chat? He... he killed everyone. A real madman. I'm injured. Help me. We heal him and we get medicine. Requires medicine. This is my last medicine. Okay, fine. Oh, thank you. I still can't believe that Ricky used us as bait. He was the one to blame, not us. If he hadn't killed that little girl to steal her necklace, her father wouldn't have fought back, and my friends would still be alive. Take me with you. I have a score to settle with that traitor. Dang it. I keep recruiting too many people, chat. What am I going to do with all these people? I got like a goddamn army behind me, man. Was that everything? Okay. Well, new plan. I guess we go kill the boss. I mean, we probably have enough people for it, right? Did I really break down the dagger? Dang, I did. All right, Mr. Boss Man. Action economy. Lucilla. I have killed them all. Matthias Lund. Uh, how many people are you allowed to have in your party? I got like my own personal army over here, man. Okay, where are the archers? Krug in the back. Poots in the back. Okay, um... Do a shot. Do a recoil shot. I didn't do anything. Judgment is upon you. I forgot what that does. Do a stab. Oh. My spearman might be gone. On the bright side. No, I don't have a spearman. See, so, you know. That's not too bad. Guard reduced to zero. Should have destabilized first. Oh, that's not good. Well, we might be down a Scragger here. Hmm. Y 
you're useless. I need my archer to just take their turn. Shoot him! Oh, that's not what I thought was gonna happen. Huh. On the bright side, I think we beat him. No, we are definitely getting our ass kicked. <laughs> you know, the fire arrows suck. Okay, I remember how to do this fight. You have to... Wasn't this guy supposed to be playing Dark Souls 2? Yeah, I mean, as everyone knows, my entire life revolves around Dark Souls. Okay, Hackard is healed. Hmm. Okay, so he hits him. Uh, I don't know, you do a thing. He just goes back to dying, which is fine. Who else has a turn available? You do. Lucilla's Revenge. Wait, he actually didn't die. Wait, that's funny as shit. Okay, I actually have too many characters. So my turn is actually kind of annoying. Cause... Is Scragger up? Did I get him up? No, he's still dying. First aid him. Take a random pot shot. Now he's dying. Unfortunately, the area is on fire, which makes this super awkward. Huh. Does he die though? He should die here. I'm pretty sure he should die here. Is anyone not dying? Oh boy. 
I don't think Taurus will get the kill. He's still got 12 HP. Taurus does shit damage. Millie also. So we just need to get you out of there. You literally can't move out. Oh. Hmm. Okay, do we take damage from moving through burning or only at the end of burning? Only at the end. Uh, you're dead, sir. Please be dead now. There you go. No one can actually use that weapon. Huh. Jet, no one died. I told you no one would die. Willpower reduced by half. Treat injury. You don't have any medicine. Visit an apothecary or buy. Okay. Um. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, everyone got their ass beat. Strength and dexterity increased by 5% when a one-handed weapon is equipped. Why, well, it is a one-handed weapon. And we can't heal anyone. Kind of an issue. Safeguarding. We got two PP. My PP has increased. Okay, the unfortunate thing is we haven't actually, uh, done any of our quests out here. Yeah, the problem was too many of my people were taking turns, which actually made it awkward to take the battle. I realized it later on, and I was like, wait a minute. This is definitely too many people in a squad. Okay, the refugee leader wants to talk to me. Ah, mercenaries. Just in the nick of time. Yes. Discovered. The locals haven't exactly welcomed us with open arms. Take yes. our woodcutter camp, for example. We need wood to fortify our new home and survive the winter months. But the local farmers have been harassing us ceaselessly. I fear the worst. We haven't heard from our woodcutters in several days. Do we just read that and it... Oh, we just get knowledge. Fair enough. Fair enough. Feet makers. Maximum valor points increased. We don't need maximum valor. It would be nice to have a tent, though. Oh, we already have maximum happiness. Hence, the reason for your presence here. This situation could be far too dangerous for the humble farmers we are. I need mercenaries to find out what happened to our men. We get 20 wood. The woodcutters are just not... Okay, I mean, that's not too bad. I know that Fergus and the others are doing their best, but let's... Uh-huh, uh-huh. Do you guys have anything here to click on? Just more hemp. Jeez, this world is hemp everywhere. It's just a hempopolis. Do have the skill that gives you control for double attributes? I already control my double attributes. That's why I call it the double attributor. Light pony plate. Horseshoe. Increases movement speed in the world by 3%. We do need horseshoe. We need coal, materials. God, the reinforced buckler is just shit. Like, what is this, dude? I get three armor and one more guard for an entire knowledge point? Like... Ghost... Set, huh? I wanna learn that. Okay, so there's rats to the east. And I know everyone is injured, chat. I understand that. Everyone has an injury. Everyone, look at this. Injury, 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 injury. But when you think about it, are they really injured? If they found Jesus? 
Why can't we go down there? Is this not a pass or am I just getting weirdly blocked? Rot infestation. Assigned scholar. Can we even have a scholar? No, we don't have a scholar. So you're cooking. Everyone else is making us happy. You're just wandering. You're just wandering. Is there anything we can do to cook? Brandy. Meat, more meat. Syrup, 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 syrup. Well, now hold on here. Companions generate four happiness. So hold on, we can eat three unhappiness and be fine. Right? You guys don't need all that food. The happiness should equal out to 15. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we have them with less food, but they... Hackard. A companion can't properly aim injury... Aim properly is a danger to the whole group. We must reconsider Krug's future among... Come on! He's a good guy! Come on! He's a good guy! Come on! Hackard and Krug hate each other. Yeah. Yeah, I'd hate a dude who kept shooting me with arrows, too. Fair fair game. Fair game, chat. Honestly, don't blame him. Rat infestation. We sink into the holes of defeat and... Oh, it actually is like a rat cave. Okay, let's see here. So we got the plague infected outgrowth. The brood mother. And then the ratlings. Do we need to kill that? Probably. Okay, let's put the archers. Krug, I need you here, buddy. Because Krug, you're gonna open flaming arrow. Super arrow. Fire. Pew pew pew. Good job, Krug. You shot an enemy for once. Ripple swing, mega, ultra, delga hit. Pew pew. Wow. Ugh. Alright. Wow, it didn't hurt. Well, now I know I said. Now I know why it said this is easy. Uh huh. Where's my counter-attack? Where's my attack of counter-opportunity? Counter-tunity. Comportunity. Do damage! That was not... Mm, okay. Hackert, do a stab! That got us more valor. I'm galvanized. Run, Hackert. They die in the fire. Easy. Big fat rat is burning. Honestly, chat, I'm gonna say it. Okay. But, uh... Well, we spend two, gain one. Alrighty, right? You, sprint through the poison. Poison's for bitches, anyway. Stabby stab! Huh. Yeah, once we go back to town, we'll uh, make a new knife. You go here. Okay. 
Oh, fuck. I see. Ah, yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, I'm picking it up, chat. It's it's being put down and I'm picking it back up. Yeah, okay. So the idea was to crush the nests. Yes, that uh makes way more sense. Oh. Oh, never mind. No, it it was as easy as I thought it would be. I'm not gonna repair their armor. There's barely any armor to repair. We got 31 iron too, so that's pretty good. Okay, so now we got two more quests to do in the north. Look at the fever debuff. Chad, all my people already had so many debuffs. That they couldn't even get it. What does a giant trait do? Strength and dexterity increased by 5% when the two endo weapon is equipped. Your characters just seem to get a lot of buffs for existing. Like, you're just like... you just like, you just exist and the game's like, 5% more dex. You take a breath. It's like, double your constitution while breathing. No one got infected, not because I'm lucky. It's because they all had other debuffs from getting shit on by the, the one dude. That's the problem. Everyone already had a debuff, so he couldn't have been double debuffed, if my understanding is proper. Where is other bow boy? Bow boy, get in the middle. Felix, also get in the middle. Millie, over here. Swordman. Oh, who's here? Krug, Felix, Pudas, Kalrock. Kalrock, get over here. Okay, now you. Sprint. Oop. Go like this then. You. Sprint your ass over here. Give him the stabs! Okay, now that we generate a point, give him the dick kick! Well, that, uh. Huh. He doesn't seem to have been able to resist the dick kick. That was his, uh. One and only mistake. Huh. Let's see. You got into engagement. Can Scragger hit them both? Probably not. Actually, screw it. Just walk away now. I didn't really do that much damage. Um, shoot. You shoot him, then. Yeah, that'll do it. And then I guess we can just shoot this guy. Okay. Okay. The world is a demoralized and fleet. Yeah, I'll allow it. Hello, you're Kirk. Am I still clicking? Oh, I click. That's what I do. I'm not gonna repair armor. There's no point. Was that? Oh boy. Okay. So here is finally the quest. No, we're gonna attack Rosoto squad. Why do we get two rat allies? Or boar allies? Oh wait, was he fighting boars? No, he gets boar allies. I'm not over leveled. This is the game. The game... The game of life. The game of... of... Two-shotting everything. That's how you play this game. 
I'm like 90% sure. Hmm. We get one turn, then Saboteur goes. No one can kill that. One turn, then Bomber goes. Okay, we could probably take down Bomber. Oh, I need to move the boars? Oh, no. scaling enemies is not better I assure you it would mean the more party members you get oh, sorry. it means the more party members you get the more people fight you so inevitably the problem is what happens is you end up in a situation you know I really thought that would kill him so you end up in a situation unfortunately where like you pick up a member from a quest and you're like, oh no. And then, like, they just, you're doomed now. Because, like, basically, oh, I, I picked up the one zombie dude from the quest. Great, it now spawns an additional enemy in every combat. So then, if, if someone dies, it'll spawn less enemies, yes. So it's not just going to snowball me out of the game, but basically what happens is, from my knowledge, when I played with it, it desperately tries to keep you down around three to five people at most. And if you have more than three to five people, um, if you have more than three to five people, it will kind of go out of its way to slaughter you. Yeah, I remember... I remember there was like a serious legitimate problem too. Because I remember what happened, again, is the, the number one reason I, I finally quit. The number one reason I finally quit this game was because like... Remember in the next zone, there were forest animals that kept attacking me. And the problem was because my group had gotten pretty strong and I was playing on level scaling. It just kept spawning more fucking forest creatures. And I'd always have to fight like seven of them in every engagement. And if I didn't want my people to die, I literally just needed to do the spear and archer formation every fight every fight i just spear and archer formation and it was just like every battle because it spawned so many of them i just sprint my first turn to a choke point set up all the spears on it set up all the archers on it seven goddamn like high level wolves or some shit would sprint into me and i'd be like okay It's not very high. Yeah, I mean, I, I initially had... I initially had, like, a, uh... I initially had like a two-ended axe user that I was using to like kind of be like my soft hard carry if you know what I mean But like oh my god That attack is really good Like you couldn't really do anything because 
you had to start meticulously microing your turns because there'd be like seven wolves and you had to take and make sure that every single turn was used perfectly so that the wolves didn't beat you. God, his weapon is shit. Yeah, but then you you kill three people in the first turn, then a bunch of wolves take their turns, they drop your armor, you have to repair your armor, you take another fight, 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 you take another fight. Because like oops. All you're doing is you're just replaying the same stupid fight. I'm trying to think of a way I can do this, but it's really not. I gave him damage reduction so he didn't die. Yeah, I definitely played with level scaling because I definitely remembered like when I, when I just now today started playing the game, I saw the different modes and my first thought was my, my literal first thought was, wait, did they ever make level scaling good? And that's why when I googled it and someone was like, level scaling makes me want to kill myself. My exact thought was, oh, yeah, no, they did not. Okay, so there's only two people left. Um, let's think here. Let's kill him. He's gonna take his turn. I can't really stop him. But at the very least, Pudus, or sorry, Scragger doesn't die here. Actually, he might, because he's poisoned. Is he taking his turn? He's already taking his turn. There's like no way. We just need to not shoot with anyone stupid or something like that. A new round is starting. We have four turns to kill him, which shouldn't be too difficult, all things considered. If not, though, let's just first aid. Yeah, I doubt you guys, I played this game like four years ago, I promise you. It, it had been a while. Yeah, I mean, I recognize that animation and everything, my dude. Because I saw that every time. Because, like, I keep using two... You, you might not believe me, Chip, but I do, uh... I do kind of use a lot of, uh... Two-handed carry characters. Sort of my thing. Wasn't level scaling and regent scaling in the option menu at first? Yeah, Spearwall's two points now instead of one. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, I did stop them in their tracks. And then you could stop them in their tracks in one turn, and then the next turn, you knock them back. Oh, God, it was so funny. It wasn't really funny. It was actually quite annoying. I think most people hated it. Well, I mean, it was, like, funny to do. It just, it just got old, because it was, like, the viable tactic. I don't think Buddhist really needs movement, but sure. Having at least 10 movements is probably a good idea. Yeah, I mean, I remember it being... Yeah, exactly, Chet. I I'm the one who remembers that it was originally in the options. Because I remember I googled for it. And the first thing someone told me was, oh yeah, make sure to go into your options and turn it off. And then the thing was, um, yeah. So what do you got here? Atlas tower? What are we doing here? Free the tower. Okay, we need to look at everyone's defense. Scragger probably needs a repair. The thing is we don't have that much like repairs. You probably need a repair. You need a repair. How many repairs? We only have one left, so we're kind of going to keep that around. And there's no auto-resolve either. Um... Let's see here. I mean, I don't have that great a gear is one of the problems. Ah! How are you not dead? Oh, there we go. I'm like, yo. Who takes their turn? Hoodland takes their turn first. Okay, I have an idea. Felix, you run up here, get him into combat. Just just crit, it's fine. Skagger, you run over here. Finish them both off. Now he doesn't take his turn. Okay. So now we have two turns to finish off this person. So let's uh run up. Destabilizing strike. The enemies are demoralized if okay. Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I played this game a lot. Or else I wouldn't, like, know how to do this janky shit very easily. The problem with level scaling in games like this... Um... The problem with level scaling in games like this, in my opinion, when you have one player, my opinion is that level scaling is fine. But when you have multiple players, level scaling fucking sucks because it dissuades you from using anything more than min-maxed giga characters. Uh, 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 this, this is fun. They definitely shouldn't just tell you where to click. This is fun. I mean, it was, it's a problem with RimWorld. It's a problem with this game. If you put level scaling onto a game that is more than one character, you're gonna run into the problem. Um. Huh? The chief is worried about us, and so he should be. 
The locals are getting more vindictive by the minute. It's a problem in RimWorld too. It, honestly, the biggest issue, I don't play RimWorld and the reason I just kind of don't like the game, the level scaling is so goddamn aggressive that what'll frequently happen is if you use anything other than a good min-max character, you get absolutely massacred. Hurry up and join our lads outside the camp and stop these fools from getting in. How do I see my wanted rating? You're currently not wanted by the guards. Could you, uh... 81 suspicion just from a few logs? What game does level scaling good? It's not even what game does level scaling good. Um, I wouldn't phrase it like that. I would just say that a single player game it's like fine. I mean, they're all single player, right? Don't you have anything better to do than harass refugees? Even if you were Ador himself, you couldn't cut down those trees. What do you mean? What's it to you if we cut those trees instead of any others? The Mount Altis forest is sacred. It has belonged to the tools since the dawn of time. If you upset the little folk, they will attack all the surrounding settlements, including ours and your haven. Don't be absurd. The tools aren't even real. They're just fairy tales. We won't freeze to death over some imaginary pixies. How dare you? For the eye's sake. Go and tell your hallucinations to move out. There's no lack of trees in this county. Then, then maybe just go for different trees. Did you hear that? Name your price and give those blasphemers the punishment they deserve. The tools will be most grateful. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I, I feel like odor might be in the right. Because they're not even hearing them out, dude. I don't want beans. I want wood. Wait, so I attack odor and I get wood. I attack anthas and I get beans. I don't know, dude. I feel like he should maybe have heard the guy out. He's like... You're chopping down a sacred forest, you're gonna pick us off the pixies. He's like, fuck you. Your religious beliefs are stupid. He's like, wait, uh, uh, uh. Um, I'm just gonna say it, this does not. We, we kind of have a little bit of a numbers advantage. One or two more players, in fact, than they seem to have. One or two, really. Uh, huh. Dude's like, am I dead? Yes, I scream. Fuck, he says. Dude, that's my armor. So he, me, me, him. Wait, so I can just cut off their entire turn order right now. Huh. Okay. Well, it doesn't appear to be a downside. So, uh, let's give him the old roly poly. Borrowings and demoralize and flee. No. Chad, these refugees must be taught a lesson. No one burns down the ancient tool forest and gets away with it so long as the tools promise me a reward. Do they get to have any turns? They just sit here. Where's it gonna be my turn? I'm like, hold on. I'm still taking my turn. Oh, right. Um, wait, you can't actually take your turn, because you'll just kill an ally. Yay, they say. 
Ouais, euh... Yeah. Okay, so what do we got here? This unit gains deflection if you're engaging combat. No, every time you hit several enemies, gain. Yeah, Valor is chained for AoEers. And then strength times two, baby. Phalanx. Okay, let's see what we give you. Phalanx has willpower. Wait, so willpower... If they have 15 willpower, they survive damage. Oh, we can maybe try to screw them up to 15 willpower. Hackert! No, that's all right. You! Go for... I don't know, Cutthroat, so I don't have to remember everyone's name. I mean, he's a tanky dude, Jet. He's a tanky dude. Do we have any... Oh boy, okay, let's start by type. Uh, what do we have here? We have rat, wolf. Can we get any of these cooking? Bread, can we cook rat? Hemp tea. Pike soup. We don't have pike, we just have bass. Wolf sausage, there we go. Cook me some wolf sausage. Grilled carp. I mean, that'll work. Wolf sausage. That'll also work. Bread. Just, just bread. And let's see. We got smithing. We got... Pike suit hemp tea. Can you eventually just get to the point where like I I'm a bit confused. Can you eventually just get to the point where like you're just you're feeding people like a couple tea and a beer and they just don't eat for the day? We kind of need to increase our maximum valor so we don't hit the minimum so easily. Sausage link, sausage link, sausage link. Brandy. Well, let's see, we have four people at the fire. They generate plus one happiness. Wait, so they generate four happiness. Assigned companion generates plus one. So we get four happiness, so we don't even need. I feel like the game's kind of screwy how you can just like have people sit at the campfire and chill and then they don't need to eat as much. You can craft the banner. The banner represents your troop and your pride. The, any assigned lieutenant will probably carry this banner everywhere. Camping gear. I need rope. Craft me some rope. I know I have enough for two rope. Make me a banner. Build 15 different camp tools. I always build camp tools. Banner. Okay. So, Felix, you're the lieutenant. Banner me, baby. So, any will proudly carry this banner. Is that you sneezing, Katie? What you being a sneezy kitty for? Why, you, why is she looking at me like I'm weird? I'm not the weird one, kitty, for being worried. You dumb cat.
I got my PP up. I got my PP up. Finish 10 fights with no injuries. Yeah, good luck. I destroy myself all the time. Mercenaries, you are as much our heroes as those of the tools. I can only imagine the wrath of these creatures had the refugees continued to fell but one tree. Take this as a You can hear them sawing in the background. I get beans. Yay. Helping the tools is good luck. Believe me. Only Adoranians are daft enough not to believe in the tools. Had these people been from Balerion, they would never have come here to chop wood. Are the tools real? Because I feel like they're definitely real. Why am I stealing wood? I'm not stealing shit. Wait, does he just carry the banner now? What does that do? Does he get like a banner ability? I need to use it. The Sylvan War... Uh, the Brother... Lear band. Oh, that's good. We'll go brand. But I'll go. No, you know what? Too much work to change it. Until the next rest, your troops pay closer attention. Knowledge gain XP is increased. Until the next rest, your troops gather more resources. Until the next rest, what doesn't kill your companions makes them stronger. Experience granted increase. Carrying capacity increased. Customization. It's gonna be blue and purple and red and red. Why can't I add something to it? Now what? So this is what I spend my influence on? Yeah, I did notice our influence was probably going up a bit too quickly. Okay, well, I opted not to work with the dude. Wait, does it just... It doesn't pathfind at all? It just runs out? You just sprint out? And hit a wall? That's... So there's no actual pathfinding. That's incredible. There's no pathfinding. Huh. Kick him in the dick. Hmm. He didn't die. Ow. What? Take his aggro and his lunch money. He's just gonna run up and attack, and I can't. I couldn't stop it, so I just figured we should kill the boars. We can still stop. Do 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 do. Stab him in the dick. Do, do. Stab him in the dick! Kick him in the dick! The dick does not really have any force on it. 
The game doesn't hate animals. Well, I mean, yeah, it does. Shoot him! Oh. Okay. So who goes next? Then you go next, then you go next, but we can't kill that thing. Shoot it! Pew! Hey, we um Wow, I really didn't do any damage. Hmm. Dude, stop hitting my goddamn armor, you sons of bitches. So who's taking the next turn? You, but once again we can't stop you. Sure, there's only one thing to do. What sure? What sure? Chaw chaw. Huh. The music just always kicks back to excited piccoloing every time. Okay, so who takes her turn? You take their turn. That means you. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Do you kill it? Yes, you do. What shot? So who's up next? You? Borton! Ayo! I didn't do it. Hi -ya! Okay, now who's up? You're up next. And we killed that. No, we do not let them flee. We have like 20 turns before they even get to move. Fairly certain we can use like five turns to kill a boar. Yeah. Chet, the animals are the people who hate the game. I didn't do shit. There I was just existing and the game just chucks animals into me. I'm like, all right. The game's like, no, don't kill the animals. And I'm like, then stop sending them at me. And the game's like, no. And I'm like, I'm gonna keep killing them. And the game's like, no. Okay, so we have the fate of Tiltrin. After the war broke out, the refugees fled the neighboring kingdom of Edoran. I mean, do you really want me to do Battle Brothers? The only problem I have with Battle Brothers is because it was 2D. People couldn't really tell it was happening. Although the big problem with this game seems to be that, like... Man, turn-based really drags the turns. You don't really get a good feel for anyone, you know what I mean? And it particularly feels like after the early game that your people kind of stopped doing the funny dying. Like, they really wanted people to do the funny dying. And you kind of just stop funny dying. It feels like you, you funny die for about three hours in, in wacky one shots. And then it kind of just stops. So what did I blacksmith? Didn't I get better stuff? I did get the experience blacksmith set. So let's see what we needed for that. Ghost breastplate. We have the white leather. We need cloth and coal. Ugh. We also need a throwing knife to give to Scraggly. Degly. Wait, no. Um. Hackert needs this because it gives him more dex. And then. Scraggers needs the throwing knife. You also need a throwing knife, because that gives you crit. 
it might be a good game, but is it like a good game to watch? Iron Handed X. Do I not get knowledge for the first time craft bonus on these weapons, chat? How does that work? Okay, we need coal. Chat, where do I get coal? You can use my anvil. I can also repair your armor. Oh, and I'm looking to hire a skilled blacksmith. If you happen to know one. A few dents here and there. You can use my anvil. Am I not a skilled blacksmith? I'm an experienced blacksmith. Hmm. Okay, well, why do these have different symbols? Do you see that? I feel like this gives me knowledge. I'm gonna forge it and see if it gives me knowledge. Perfect. 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 Okay, so who was it? It was Taurus. You are using a shit axe. Let's see, you currently deal 10 damage of shit. Now you deal 15 damage of Chad. Okay, so now we need cloth and coal. Well, where in the hell or dollar are we gonna get coal? Chet, there's no such thing as a coal mine. Come, come, take a look at my wares. Come, come, take a look at my wares. Come, take a look at my come, come, take a look at my come, come, take a look at my wares. Okay, um. Campfire, we can burn wood to create coal during a rest. We need to get the campfire things. We need to get more knowledge. Chad, how do we cheese more knowledge in this game? Wait, the blacksmith sells coal? You can use my anvil. Ah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come, come, take a look at my come, come, take a look at my come, come. Where do you get cloth, dude? That's not even a meme. Seriously, where do you get cloth? They literally produce cloth. Am I crazy? Say, it's not often. You feel free to come back often. Well, there's always folk looking for work around here, especially since all the fighting started across the border. The recipe culture shock. Apple pancakes. Does rest just take money? Oh, we do get our fatigue back. Come, come. Take a look at my calm, come. Take a look at my calm, come. Okay, so I should just like try to leave the zone at this point, right? 
Okay, let's do... I need woolen cloth. Ugh. Inform Cortia. Bring this message to the informant in Cortia. Loot Bandit's Lair. Vanquish Diotes' squad. These are easy. Come, come. Come, come. Take a look at my wares. Chat, I'm gonna go crazy. Chat, what am I doing here? I need to get supplies, but I can't. Why can't I? Because I'm poor. Indeed. Hacker, you can't wear shit yet? You're a cutthroat. You can definitely wear shit. Can't you wear light armor, you dumb bitch? Oh, it's medium. Fuck it, we're the outlaws tabard then. Dismantle all this basic bitch shit. Collar of Unity. A collar imbued with the scent of its wearer's peers. That's weird. So we're just like collaring one of the people in our party? We just like just tying some dude up the collar. Do you have any armor for me, buddy? Hey, my buddy, my pal, my friend, my amigo. What you got for me? Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? Worshippers, tunic, Alzarian uh, halberd. I think I can make better shit at this point. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my no, good sirs? No, no, you can't. I need. What do I need? Le wood, leather, cloth, cloth. That one. I need cloth. Bring message to Cortia. I mean, I need to do the. F I got a knowledge point. Okay. Calm, calm. Take a look at my calm, calm. Okay, we do a campfire upgrade, but I need sandstone. Shit, where the fuck do I get sandstone? I am terribly sorry, Mercenary. This is but a simple sawmill, and I am its humble owner. So, Chad, this is clearly not a simple sawmill, and they are not their humble owner. How do I murder them? Um, I'd have to go for mines. Is there any way I figure out they're not, you know? Yes, this is a simple sawmill. Yes, nothing but a sawmill. Yes, you heard me. Sawmill. Yes. Go away now. Might I interest you in my humble ways, my good sirs? No. Highland Trekkers Camp. Envious of our war paint, are you? <laughs> You're not the first. Never said that. Mercenaries. Only those who have been initiated in our ways may sport these. Or I could just do it. What are you going to do? Stop me? You're going to stop me from getting paint? You become part of the lucky few. You must travel to Ludern and ask the druid in the tool's glade. But be warned. The way there is fraught with danger. Yeah, why can't I just steal it? Let me just steal it. Oh, I want to be your armor. Our brotherhood is tasked with the culling Shit, I want of the wild beasts on the continent. We reward all of them for their kills and protect the common folk from these vicious animals. Oh, 
All of them? All the beasts? All of them! If you want to join us and learn from us, you'll need to prove your worth and take part in your first hunt. <laughs> okay. Come back victorious, or do not come back at all. Yeah, because I'll probably be dead. I won't come back. Don't even bother trying to sell me your filth. I am in need of fangs to accomplish our ancient ritual. You sell me coal and white leather, but you don't sell me cotton. Come back victorious. Envious of sorry to become part of the Okay. Chat. Oh, cut wood. Do I not have a wood chopper? Are you serious? No, I know I do. Hacker, you're an angler. Wait, I already have an angler. Pudis. Calrock. Taurus? Taurus, you're a shit cook. Go be a woodcutter. Chop wood, Taurus. Oh, fuck, I... Misclick. What does she sell? Hold on. Don't even bother trying to sell me your meat milk. drawing I rack. Need of fangs to accomplish our ancient rituals. Blueprint defenders reinforce layer. Leather raw materials iron armor plus nine. That's really good. We need fangs then. Wait, where's the quest? Didn't that guy give us a quest? Come back, Vic. From where? From where? From where? From where? Where am I coming back from? Why does everyone keep talking about come? How do I see my quest log? Yeah, I'm a bit confused on that one now that you mention it. These people are like, we will literally kill every animal in the entire world. The bird says another body was found north of the stables. The stables? The stables, Chad? Of the stables? Well, it's the only stables in the entire kingdom. Are you serious? Okay. Yeah, they're like, we will literally murder every beast in the entire world. Every beast. All of them. And now... Welcome, Druid, to our to our group. Druid's like, happy to be a member. Okay, stable Meister. Although the war in Ederin has been a boon for my business, I cannot help but feel for my poor ponies. I can tell you aren't soldiers. Take them with you if you can. Otherwise, they would most likely end up dead on the battlefield through no fault of their own. Okay, uh, I'll take this one. What do I do with a pony? What do I do? Chad, do I adopt a pony or not? When I think of how many people don't shoe their ponies, it makes me want to pull out the little head I have left. Can I make a horseshoe? Ah, screw it. We'll just buy one. You, get a horseshoe. Oh my god, well, you can have horseshoes or saddle, but... Ah, uh, this game. Okay, well, next time I'm stealing from you, you dumb Tell bitch. You Buy a horse from us, and I'll throw in the horseshoes for free. No. Oh no, a dead body. Parts of the corpse are horribly mangled. Only an animal could tear off such large chunks of flesh. Hey man, they haven't seen me on a Saturday night.
Am I supposed to be fo Oh, we're following the blood. Okay. And we're following, and we're following. They're like, what are you doing, buddy? Nothing, just following the ancient killer, Wolf of Doom. They're like, cool. Are they serious? Why? There's nine of us. Even if we weren't properly geared, there's nine of us. Okay. Shinwin, get in there, buddy. It seems we're gonna have to, uh. I don't know. Scragger, it's time to scragulate. That did no damage. Milly Billy. And I guess, I guess, Hacker, it's time to. Hacker. That did nothing. Why are they so tanky? Okay, fine. Shenwin, it's time to win big. Wabacha! They're demoralized and flee. Are you, are you serious? Did I even get XP for that? I didn't get any loot. I just ran up and stabbed them, and they were like, "Never mind." What did you think? There's nine of us. We're not hiding it very well. Sika. How many are there? There's... I mean, I guess there's three more here. I mean, I guess... I guess wolves aren't that big a deal. I mean, maybe I'm not supposed to have this many people. Honestly, it's gonna kind of be a... It's kind of gonna be a free-for-all because, like, I kind of need somebody to die. Like, not gonna lie, some of these people, they gonna die. Okay. Shen Wen, it's oh then they split up a little bit weirdly here. Hmm. Oh yeah, dang. Dang. I need to get that dude a weapon. Scragger! Scragulate! Wow, I really did not do that much. Huh. Dang. Don't I have good armor? Oh, no, wait. No, I don't have good armor. Do, 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 do. Dude, you hacker, you can't get in range of anybody, buddy. I don't know, just run up there then, I suppose. Damn, they broke all my armor, dude. Okay, so who's got to turn left? He does. Which we can't affect. Uh, I have too many two-handed users, dude. He needs to get a better weapon, dude. He does so much damage, Felix, because he's just an unkillable giga beast. Okay, now you take your turn. Go right behind him. Take that pot shot. Boom! Take that double shot. Boom! That's not what I wanted. Uh. A new round is starting. Who's taking their turn first? We can't stop you. Then it's you. Shinwin! It's time to do 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 hit him with a giant Oh wait, you hit your ally. Oh boy, they're kinda gonna be mad about that one, I feel. Ah, 
I always knew kicking wolves was the way to beat them. Everyone doubted me. What did they say? They said, I don't, I don't know about this. It sounds like you're just trying to make an excuse to kick wolves. Were they right? Of course not. I was not just looking for an excuse to kill wolves. No, they don't get the right to flee. I need this last one too. I need every wolf. All wolves belong to me. All wolves are me. I am every wolf, and every wolf is me. Okay, so we got all of them. I mean, I wasn't just trying to massacre wolves. I, I, I did want their loot. Okay, so let's eat all these carcasses. Because it uh, kind of dramatically reduces our weight. Then uh, we need one beer. Okay, now we're at negative six. We have a haystack. We're at negative four. We get plus four. You're on a banner. Wasn't there something else we could make? The campfire plus. But we needed sandstone. Yeah, surely. I can get that. Why do you need salt for a hitching post? Let's see, we also need cloth for the strategy table. Dude, where do you get the goddamn cloth in the world? Where did all the goddamn cloth go to? Someone tell me. Someone tell me where all the goddamn cloth in the world went to. Felix. Just a little more effort and I'll make a name for myself. Even the Legion will want to hire me. Do you have any close companions? Chad, how do we not have any close companions? Just level yourself up, I suppose. Okay, so we completed the quest. It occurs to me I should probably go back and heal my characters as well. All my characters are debuffed to shit. Wait, that's probably what happened to Scragger. Yeah, he can no longer crit and his damage is halved. Okay. Yeah. So he's gone from critting 20s to dealing 5s. Yo, buddy. My concoctions can heal the most grievous injuries. Can you heal these? I hope you will be more careful next time. I will not. While we're here, you can use my anvil. A few dents. Chad, where do you go to buy cloth? Is it the apothecary, maybe? My concoctions can heal the most grievous. I injuries. I just don't understand, man. Where do you get cloth in this goddamn game? Come, come, take a look at my wares. One, two, three, four, five. Woolen cloth. Is that how I get cloth? Do I, do I just buy woolen cloth and then and then do I make it or something? Do I do something with it? Come, come, take a look at his wares. What did I buy? Sandstone. Why did I buy it? To build the better campfire. Because now we can get coal. Okay, so who doesn't have good weapons? Right, Felix, Felix, we need to make you something, my Felixy friend. You deserve better in life. I know it, you know it, we all know it. And yet, I have no ability to do it. Because I never got the Apprentice Blacksmith set. Dude, is there a way to farm knowledge in this game?
That's what I'm thinking. Is there a way to farm knowledge? Because I'm like... I'm like knowledge capped, dude. Let's see, so there's a sinister cave, there's a lumber mill. Why is taking lumber from the lumber mill considered stealing? But like... If you go to there and chop wood, that's considered perfectly normal. Bandits! Prepare to be banditized! Explore the ruins and fix broken artifacts. I don't know how to do that. I don't think I ever did that. In fact... Okay, scraggly daggly. It's time to prove that fixing you up was a good call. Yeah, it's a little bit better. That's, that's more what I had in mind, true. Okay, I bought you a giga axe. Prove me that it was a good choice. Yeah, that, that feels like a good choice. No, we're not gonna let them flee. We got XP to farm, baby. Are we gonna execute everybody? Does she still have a rusty sword? Oh my god. I feel, without the injuries, my party got a little bit stronger. Like, like a touch, a tidbit, a tad, a smidgen, a small but measurable amount, really. Just that, just that tiny amount that makes you think, hmm, they might be doing more damage now. Dude, if we had cloth, we could proceed with our life. Dude, I just, I just can't find cloth. Is there, okay, I need to look this up. War Tales Cloth. Literally, the starting zone doesn't have it. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. A hunt worthy of a trip. To survive our hunts, you will need besides them. protecting the wearer, the layers and patches worn by trackers mark their feet. Here, take this armor layer pattern. The world the Brotherhood operates throughout the land, but So what did I get? Strength and armor nine. Yes, I want to learn it. Why would I literally not want to? Oh man, 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 oh man. Shinwin. So how does this work? Level six armor required. What? My armor is level three. In what goddamn world do they think I was going to have level 6 armor already? The hell? A little optimistic, don't you think, fellas? Don't even bother trying to sell me your filth. I am in need of fangs to accomplish our ancient rituals. Well, I guess we can just grab the armor 9. Okay, so where did that go? Okay. Um, there's level three armor required. Iron ore, leather, raw materials. Yeah, that's manageable. Come, come, take a look at his wares. Honestly, at this point, chat, I don't think he has wares. I think he's just a pervert. Is that more wood? Yes, indeed, dee, 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 dee. Oh no, that was, uh, ore. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee, yes, indeed.
Please tell me this is a way down. Okay. So let's see, we're about to do the Adorian border crossing. Well, we never even finished this zone. I'm confused. How do we finish this zone? There's like nothing left in it, unfortunately. You know what I mean? Like... What do I get for finishing it? Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the banner. Knowledge points increased. Oh, we have to wait till next rest. Okay. We will use... Cider. We will turn some wood into charcoal. We need one carnivorous, two carnivorous. We get negative three happiness, but we get plus one. So we get negative seven. So we get negative two actually. Now we are at actually full happiness. We're tossing them some raw food and some cider and they go, eh, what are you gonna do? Good enough, really. Krug leveled up. When did you level up? Get more movement, double movement. Okay, so we rest again. We get negative five plus one plus four. That should be fine. Okay, then we go here, we get Knowledge gains increased. This resolution is already active. Okay. Can we do a second? I don't want to mess it up. I'm not going to do a second. Okay, we should have the mission to go through here now. We are to let the farmers seek refuge until... I'm waiting for other caravans. When passing through a warring country, it's best to do so in a large group. It discourages bandits. We are to let the farmers. Huh? Oh, you. People are fleeing, Artes, and you're going there? Yeah. Very well. At your own risk. I got gold. Let me in. Let me in. County of Arthas, Kingdom of Edoran. Is this all Edoran? Is this the entire map? It's not a large map. Hasn't this game been in early access for like 10 years? What happened? What happened here? Let's do the uh Coordinated gathering as well. Because we're about to visit Nero and Ben. So it's gonna be like so much shit on the ground. Dude, I feel like these games are weird because they get they always go into early access for 20 years. And then like they make no progress. I mean what game has made progress? Let me think here. Like, what game made real legitimate progress from, like, this kind of, like, band of people run around and beat people up genre? Like, Kenshi, Bannerlord, um, War Tales, that sort of stuff. Is this, like, a rat? Area, wolf and an alpha, okay. Do, 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 Why does it always start your group, like, split up? That's one thing I actually hate. It always starts your group split up, and I'm just, like, sitting here, like... The best thing to do in this game... 
Oh no, it's making all of them go for... Okay, so it's gonna be a complete wipe. Oh boy. So here's what's happening. It, uh... It's making the entire other wolf group go first. But they're not going to be in range. So they're going to spend their turn moving up while I kill these three wolves. So they're not going to get a turn. Yeah. That's why it's just better to focus the hell out of one side in these sorts of situations. Yeah, I always see Hacker and I think Jim Halbert. Damn, the fire hit him. But dude, that keeps happening, especially in this genre. Like, it's like something about this genre always makes developers lots of money. And then like, and then they don't do anything. Am I wrong? It's like, there's just something about this genre. It occurs to me I could have let them go, and then I would have saved like 20 turns. Or the way, at least like 20 minutes. Just about the only development of, I think I've seen that's actually like been in a reasonable quick time is RimWorld. And I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I gained a path and power rank. I got that. YouTube's okay, so this is your out of game uh progress. So weapons increased by 10% of your quality points, so of armor. Forged weapon stats and armor increased. Forging left-handed weapons requires minus one parts of each type. What? Okay, let's go for the stat increase. That'll, uh, that'll add up quickly. Gain PP. It's like a nice system, I'll give you that. It just, like... Dang. Your companions learn to be content with less food. They eat three less food. Animals have reduced aggression range and give up on chase faster. Run duration increased by 20%. Companions are less prone to be injured in battle. Cost of items from the tracker's guild reduced by 10%. Cost for upgrading a legendary weapon reduced by 50%. Torches last longer and light up a longer area during battle. Well, I think we go for run duration increase. So that's why it was really annoying, chat. Fuck. That's why I noticed the food situation was like really annoying, the food and money situation. Because you're supposed to progress with the, the, um... You're supposed to progress with the other system, right? A sheep is only skin and bones. Get carcass and mutton. Sorry, sheep. The sheep is shaking quite a bit. You're not entirely sure if it's edible. Sorry, sheep. Is this game's theme murder and kill everything? I feel like unlike Kenshi, I feel like the differences in Kenshi like fits the theme. 
I feel like this game really does not have like a grim dark theme going on. Does anyone see a grim dark theme here? It's so weird that like the game keeps being like slaughter the innocent sheep for their food. Her, 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 her. And I'm like, okay. And the game's like, whoa, what the fuck, you sicko? I'm like, but you told me to. It's like, not, I didn't, I didn't, it's not like that. What are you doing? Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? I'm just sitting there. Will you kill the light animal? <laughs> yes. Wh what? The game's, well, wow, well, wow, what? I'm like, yeah, I'll kill it. The game's like, the dude, that's like, that's an animal. I'm like, yeah, I know. You're just gonna slaughter it like that? I'm like, yeah. Game's like, dude, you fucking sicko. I'm like, but you told me, you fucking sicko. I'm like, but game, you told me to. The game's like, you're crazy. You're crazy. Red eyeball. Okay. Comfrey. Okay, I don't even do alchemy, so I'm gonna sell some of this shit. To lighten my inventory first off, and second off to get some money. It's kind of shitting on my inventory. I want both these items though, because I can give that axe to Taurus. And then he doesn't have the iron two-handed axe. He has the great pig iron. That's... <sighs> okay, it's level four. Both these require level four. Okay. Why would you even sell them to me then, you stupid bitch? Yeah, so I'm saying the game doesn't really have that grim dark feel, right? And yet it's like constantly trying to do grim dark. I, I just I feel like it's 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 a readability problem, maybe. It's like it just doesn't feel like what they're going for is what um it doesn't feel like what they're going for is what they achieve. Let's put it that way, yeah? Do you guys have cloth? I interest you in my hump? No, unless you have cloth. Apparently the only goddamn thing in the world anyone needs is cloth. Dude, does sprinting actually reduce my things? Cause like, oh my god. I have two cloth. Come, come, take a look at my wares. Oh, hold on here. Can we get the, the stable thing? Hitching post. No, because we need salt. We can do a workshop. Hmm. Kind of wanted to build that Giga armor, but this is fine too. Strategy table. Get him, Shinwin. Well, most of our people are doing stuff now. It's like our camp is cool. Krug. Shinwin leveled up to level four. Constitution up 21. Oh my god, each time we pick up supplies, we're getting fucked over. I should have sold some of this stuff, dude. Um, what could I possibly drop? Problem is I just, um... Oh, well, we're about to get there anyway. Shinwin making progress? I'm not sure... Oh, he was already level 4. Oh, it's just these bitches aren't level 4. Forty-four iron also weighs a lot. Yeah, well, these people should just carry their weight then. You know what I'm trying to say here? Come, come. Let's see. Ghost, two-handed mace, axe, gladius. Left hand? Knife, sickle, hatchet. Oh, okay. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. 
ghost stuff is not too high level. But I guess we could learn this stuff for now. Just so we can get Felix at least something to work with. Two of us working here until Count Lahar enlisted my cousin in his army. I haven't heard from Clay since. Come, come. Sorry, Chad. It's, it's literally imbued into my head. I won't be able to stop it. You won't be able to stop it. It's my life now. It's your life now. What? What? Huh? Was that not... Was that not clicking right or something? Okay, well at least I got him a better sword now, so he does... Yeah, was I not clicking properly? What the hell happened? Okay, from what I remember, Lucilla's revenge actually kind of sucked. I'm not using any of these characters. Yeah, from what I remember, Lucilla's... But I'll just sell it rather than scrap it, I suppose. There were... Come, come. May the all-seeing eye strike me down if I lie. I saw him, I swear. Three days ago, I was collecting fowl. The hunter's ghost? Oh, I don't believe a word. Claude! I ran out of money. They've been running rampant in these parts since, oh, since the beginning of the war. Take Lucilla. Claude! What are those other things you had on you? Oh, I don't believe a word she says. She probably came across a band of deserters. Come, come. Okay, we need to do... Let's look here. Ghost breastplate. Oh, because we don't have enough coal. Didn't I make coal? Is that one more time I'm leaving stream? Man, you are, uh... Is this being done properly or not? I can't tell if I'm doing it properly or not, dude. I'm I'm losing my mind. I feel like I am because it's rolling ludicrous bonuses. Level five required. Oh, son of a... Chat, you fucked me. You fucked me, chat. If you don't say it anymore, I'll leave. Chat, I'm gonna say it again. No one can stop me. I am an unstoppable comer at this point. No one can stop me. No one can prevent it. Okay, let's learn experience blacksmith stuff. Because now we should be able to do... Oh wait, it, it literally doesn't matter because you require level 5. Why did I even do that? I need more white leather. Okay, hold on. Iron two-handed axe. No, but this is strength 6. Can I just not... No, it's iron falchion is strength 4. So... I definitely rolled it to strength six. I'm so confused. But it didn't look like I was doing it right. It wasn't gold or anything. Hmm. How much does it sell for? 40 gold, that's it? No way. So who's level four? Screw it, Pudas, you get the armor. Two, 
two-handed axe. Oh, he can use it. He's just level three. See you only, Spartan. Have a great night, my dude. Okay, why is my inventory just completely obliterated with nonsense? There were two of us working here until okay. Count Lahar enlisted my cousin in his army. I haven't heard from Why would I click this up? I'm just I would have to click it anyway. Fuck it, I'm getting rid of all these flowers, dude. My inventory is being fucked by flowers. Say that nine times real quick. I literally had ten goddamn pounds of flowers on me, man. Okay, my inventory is still being destroyed. Plague ridden sample. Great use to alchemy. Yeah, I sold every flower. I picked up every flower and I sold every flower. Quote me. No, oh, mining gives constitution and strength. Tinkerer gives you critical hit. Pretty good. Willpower and critical hit. So Pudus just king crits. Dexterity and critical hit. No fire is a horse. Cooking just makes him really tanky. Woodcutting is just more strength. Do we have two woodcutters? Millie needs to move on to a different job. We have eight jobs for nine people. What don't we have? We don't have an alchemist. Now we have an alchemist. Good, and I just sold all my supplies. Okay, um... Church of St. Septimus? Despite my old age, I became a priest only recently. I still find some prayers challenging. But I know I can help people and make amends for all the harm I have caused. Me too. In another life, I know he can I make was amends. A smuggler of the worst sort. Oh. The champion of their arena. Ah. Oh, I thought he was doing like some really terrible things. Among those low He's like, I brought in plasma TVs to teach that I stole. Eating them on their own turf. I will share my best arena tactics with you. How do I get a sage? I do not believe in Lord Vanalis's so-called vision for one second. Jeru came to him in a dream. How very providential. Everyone knows his mother has always dreamt of becoming a countess. This church is dedicated to Saint Septimus, the seventh son of Jeru, our guide and founder of the Faith of the Light. Jeru and all the other saints are hallowed individuals, but they are only human. The only divine being, the eternal one who will welcome us at death's door, is the all-seeing eye. So how do I get a sage, chat? I pray each day for this war to end. You guys are a depressing sort, eh? Is that it? Okay. It's not so much that I want a sage chat. You seem lost. Are you in need of any particular information about? I have completed my mission. Might you be looking for work? Here is your reward. Here is your reward. So if I go to hard missions, fight Kaghal, the ghost of Harag. Brutal and unexplained deaths attributed to the ghost of Harag have been reported in Arshas. The individual must be stopped now. Yeah, sure, screw it. How do I get sages? But how do I get them? How do I unlock that that job? You know what I mean? Do you see what I'm putting down here? Like, how do I get the job, uh, Mr. Sageman? Do do do. Mr. Sageman. 
That's not the right way. We're gonna go clear a boss chat. Actually, you know what? Uh, instead of ending my run randomly in a really stupid way, I think I think maybe we won't. Maybe that would be the better idea to not, you know, to not just randomly weirdly end my run. Hmm. We need more charcoal. How much charcoal do we have? Five, we need one more. Okay. Let's do one wine. Some syrup. Two porks. That's five. Six. No, sorry, four, then plus four. They should work again. Yep, we just give everyone uh, some cough syrup, one bottle of cider, and two unmoved pork chops. Combat. Can I name a character Beep? Probably not. All my characters are dying. Well, I mean, they're not dying. In fact, they're all perfectly fine. In fact, everyone's doing pretty okay. In fact, no one's really been in any danger for quite some time. Maybe these new higher tier bandits will scare me. Go! Uh, Felix. Felix ate them. Felix, Felix! Get him! Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. What is this game? Dark Medieval Forest Moon? Harvest Moon? No, 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 no. It's more like, uh... Kenshi, I guess, in a way. That might be the best way. Yeah! 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 It's like turn-based mercenary Kenshi, I guess is probably the best way to put it. What is this stuff up here? Kill enemies troops to raise your morale meter and clear victory faster. The ants become galvanized, significantly boosting the damage they deal. You win the battle. Oh, I didn't... I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I ever actually tracked that. If I... I don't think, I mean, I never actually tracked that. Why is Scragger all the way back here? Oh boy. No oh boy. Okay, do we have any extra tanks? Taurus. Give him a chop chop! Chop! Oh, that was quite the chop in my chopper. Okay, now Scragger. Scragulate! Could have been better. Could have been worse. Dude, they're burning down their own forests and fields. And bypassing my armor to do damage, the assholes. Let's see... Do I have any more AoEers? No, I think they've all... No, Millie hasn't taken her turn. Okay, let's do Millie then. Millie! I'll give him a million re... That didn't hit the other one. Hmm... Is he in their next turn? You are. We have two turns. Ain't no way with our current characters we could kill that dude. <laughs> Just stabs him. Okay, now those are archers. Let's see. You're a bomber. You're a bomber. Oh, because they're fire archers. They're bombers. No, it makes sense to me now. Okay, so Krog. Give me a shot right on those fire archers. You can't, because they're too far away. Now, give me a shot right on those fire archers. Yeah, that'll teach them to light fires under people. How does it feel, bitches? Okay, now you run up. Everyone's in combat, so I want him to run up the most he can, so he doesn't have a chance to hit allies. 
Oh, the raider. He's gonna raid my ass. Okay, so is anyone actually in combat with this guy? No. Okay, that gives us two points. We're gonna start with the destabilizing strike that takes off all his armor. We're gonna push that into another hit. Then we're gonna push that into a wrath. Didn't work. Almost worked. These guys are just more higher level bandits, but at the very least they're higher level bandits. Let's see, Pudis. Mizia Putin. Go here. 85% chance, that's it. 100% chance, there we go. And now... Let's see, we can go here. Take out this guy. We're now galvanized. Galvanization and significantly increases the amount of damage that your team does. Do a defensive stance. That'll just generate us more points, and then we can use them on our other characters. You, kick him in the dick so his armor turns off, then stab him in the face, and that's about your move. Millie kinda never gave Millie good weapons. Probably a bit of an issue. You know, I should really pay attention to these turn orders. So I don't get hit by like flame arrows and shit. So who goes next? You go next. Who has enough turns to kill him? No one. No one does, actually. Shoot. Wait, literally no one does. Huh. Dang. Stab the shit out of this dude. That's a good one. This looks like budget Warcraft 3. Budget... Warcraft 3, do you... Did you ever play... That game? Cause... I assure you, Warcraft 3... Kinda doesn't look like this game at all, even slightly. It's real time. In fact, I... Distinctly remember that being one of Warcraft's biggest selling points You know that Compared to other games world of Warcraft. Sorry Warcraft 3 was a uh, real-time strategy game Kind of kind of was a big deal actually because remember at the time a lot of games were not uh, real-time Because remember Warcraft no, I'm not gonna let you flee the battle. Kick him in the dick! Ugh! What did we get from that? Deserter's Brigandine. Okay, let's do some good old repairy dairy. New fire leveled up. Good job, pony men. Millie leveled up. Good job, Millie. Um, now hold on here. This deserter is brigandine. Medium armor. I was about to say, that's definitely you, Kelrock. Now he's got more guard. Now remember, guard reduces the percent damage that your armor takes. So that's why Felix is such a giga tank. He's got 40 armor that takes 38% reduced damage. So he's kind of a... Uh, He's a pretty tanky guy. For you. Okay, we did a little bit of a rest. Plus one relationships with close companions. Dude, I don't have any close companions. So I guess we, we take the renown. I don't know. Do a banner on... Thirst for knowledge. It, does it go up by a hundred each time? God damn. What are we doing here? Right, we're going to the boss. 
No, that's right. I said we weren't going to go to the boss. I remember the exact thing I said. Let's not go to the boss because if we go to the boss, it will be bad. Remember when I said that, chat? St. Eleanor Abbey. Have you come to pray for the soldier's recovery and the victory of Lord Vernalis? You really should, you know. Lord Vernalis is a devout man. Jeru came to him in a dream and identified him as the one true ruler of the land. It is my holy duty as an abbot to help him. That is why I am tending to his injured soldiers. But I so wish I could do more. Perhaps if I paid you to take on a number of specific tasks, how would you feel about stopping that usurper Lahart from levying his taxes? This would lessen the burden on the farmers, and I could feed the injured properly. Blessed be St. Elio. The Hart's tax collectors never miss a chance to ransack Boethius. I will take you to the hamlet so you don't get lost. Sure, why not? Quick question. Are these tax collectors or like raiders? Because I don't think like tax collection obviously sometimes needed guards and stuff, but I, I don't think it needed like an army. Pilgrims come to the altar to make offerings. I take it. See what I mean, dude? It's trying to be all like grim darky, like, oh you took the offerings. Look look at how evil you are. You're an evil man. You're you're doing pretty evil stuff here, don't you think? And I'm just like, alright. And the game's like, well, well, look how evil you are. You so evil. You you took you took things that pilgrims were gonna take. I'm like, yeah, I know. Game's like, yeah, but the pilgrims pilgrims put that in there so you know you're 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 a bad man okay i say that's fine who who are you <laughs> purists who are you attack uh we're getting killed here aren't we chad these are actual soldiers oh no one Two, three, four, five, six. Seasoned. Okay, and seven. Let's see how it fell against soldiers. Oh, these soldiers are more like bitches. Felix, feelify them. Feel them up. Dude, that should be like Felix's catchphrase. Think about it. Every time Felix goes to fight, he's like, you're about to get field up. Everyone's like, dude, stop, please. You're so creepy. Okay, we kind of need at least one tank over here. I should have gone with more tanks. Two-handed people are, uh... Well, let's say there's a good reason why, historically speaking, uh... You know, most people... Drew a sword with a shield. Kick him in the dick! No! He screams, My dick! Oh boy, that's interesting. But I have an entire turn to react to that, so that's fine. Scragger! Scragulate! Hmm. Scragify! Easy. Well, that's why everyone uses shields, historically speaking, because, like, you know, it's pretty hard, in my opinion, to outfight a dude with a shield when you don't have a shield. Protection. Gain deflection. Reduce the damage of the next attack by 70%. Nah, Felix don't need that. Felix is a champion. He's not gonna... He's not gonna die just because... Dude, stop it. Well, we already got one kill. Pudis! Get him the... Pudis! He's gonna get them the Pudis Moodis. And that's one hit. 
And that's two hit. I mean, he almost broke their armor. Now what, idiots? Okay, uh, maybe we should aim for the unarmored people. I think that might be a better idea. Um... Okay, Taurus went mad because of the infection, and I think he might be dying. A little bit sad, that. Oh well. Think positively, chat. We don't have to deal with, uh... Having nine characters to manage anymore. Dang it, Scrag is going down. Oh, Scrag is really going down. Okay, okay, okay. Hacker. You are so... Oh my god, these stupid... Damn, he's just got a turn wasted. Oh, dang. Oh, he knocked her out of range. Fair enough, AI. Fair enough. Hmm. Fine. Let's say you deal with being lit on fire. I mean, obviously for now it's not going to do much, but it'll add up. It'll add up. Yeah, see? He's infected now too, Jet. Taurus has gone mad. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Okay, so you're about to take a turn. Um, Let's defensive stance. And... Let's encourage everyone. Let's get an all-ally skin protection. There. Easy peasy. Now he's gonna get shot. Oh no wait, it was a uh, overwatch that so didn't even do damage. Why are you overwatching like that? What are you doing? That counts? Oh wait, but my protection chat. I wore a sword condom, otherwise known as a protection aura. Shield. Having a big wood of a stick between the sword and yourself is quite useful. I mean, better if it's steel, even, too. Let me think here. So we kind of need to go save Scragger, most of all. But Scragger has kind of got an issue where he's on fire. Throw a knife. That's okay, we got one spare. Wait, you idiots. Kick him in the dick! That destabilizes him, which means he, uh... His guard is reduced to zero, meaning his armor takes full damage now. And being a legionnaire, that kind of hurts him. Okay, now this one kind of sucks. What can we do here? Where is Pudis? Here's what we're gonna do. Pudis is gonna sprint his ass over here. And he's gonna knock you into the fire. Good enough. Then Scragger is gonna do a little bit of nothing. Ah. Oh, fuck. Taurus is poisoning us. Jet, do we need to put him down or something? Like, do we need do we need to wipe him out? He kind of just turned into a zombie. And he's kind of also stabbing my team. I don't know which one I care about more. Yeah, I know Taurus has gone mad. It's kind of been a recurrent problem, I won't lie.
Um. Scragger, give him the dagger. Huh. Felix, do a uh, defensive stance. And then let's encourage everybody so they don't die. Okay, we're going to have to kill Taurus. Dang, I just... I bought him that axe. Oh no, he's going to take down Calrock with him. Taurus, you dumb bitch. Okay, run through the poison. Give him the backstab. Oh god, he's so tanky. Okay, this fight started off really well, and now it's just kind of uh, getting weird. I won't, I won't. I don't know what to say. Okay, we're gonna have to use our last valor point. Our relationship has deteriorated, buddy. You're a zombie. Oh shit, is Millie gonna die? Oh no. I'll be honest, I had not considered this one. Hmm. Okay. You're not actually in combat with anyone. Sprint your ass over here. Taurus, don't you do it. Kalrock is not dead yet. Taurus has gone mad. Yeah, that that has been evident. You sprint your ass over here so you don't die. That's turn one. Turn two is... Pudis. Oh boy, Pudis. I really wanted that to finish him. Stab him. He's dying, but he's not dead. Sprint your ass over here. Hacker, take him down. Okay, kind of spent a lot of time on that shit that I probably should not have. See, Chad, that's how you get rid of a legionary. Points are demoralized and flee? No, I do not let them go. There's so much more that I can do. Was that it? That's all you got, buddy? You are not lasting till the next turn, are you? Okay, this fire bow kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. Not a big fan. He looks for the opportunity to turn on me. Yeah, evidently. Dude took his sweet ass time. He was like checking for the opportunities. The right moment. There is no sign of the tax collector's carriage. I think the men you slaughtered were only patrolling the area. Uh-huh. But let's not dwell on such a trivial mistake. These people, may the light forgive me for saying this, they deserve to die. Worry not for your salvation. Killing heretics is not a sin. Uh-huh.
Chad, something's starting to tell me that this guy might be evil. Targe, guard 12, armor 7. Guard 11, armor 9. Motivating skill instead of protection. Motivating blow. Deal 4 to 5 damage to target this unit and all their Jason allies get motivated. Now I'm motivated. No, it's not good at all. Shit, I bought this two-handed axe and everything for the axe dude, and now he's dead. I have another idea. The tax collectors always cross a small bridge not far from here. We could ambush them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He's pure evil, isn't he? This is just a, a wild goose chase, right, Jet? Like he's just he's just pure evil, and he's just like he's just like, no, he's just like no, I'm not evil. No, come on, you're the evil one, not me. I'm not even evil. What does that even mean? What does being evil even mean, dude? You're crazy. Okay, we got six parts. At the very least, he, we can repair our armor now. Okay, let's repair Felix, because he's the most important. Shinwin, let's get him up by two. Millie, let's get Millie's armor up. I mean, this is all our tanks. It's kind of important. Kalarok probably needs two as well. How much does that leave us left? We still have five parts. We're fine. I did not upgrade how much repair I get from parts. How do I do that? Wasn't that in the workshop or something? Oh boy, hold, hold on, let me... Hold on, let me, let me look. First page of Compendi D D D um... Oh, it's five additional armor. That's it. So I need to go to the bridge with the abbot. Wonderful. And obviously he's like evil. Okay, what is destroying my inventory this time. Fucking bandits. Okay, let's just kick their ass. Get out of your bandits. Level five. Ew. 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 Am I under leveled for this zone? Was I over leveled for the previous zone and now I'm under leveled for this zone? Is that what that's what's going on? Okay, um, they're really not that big a deal. Not really. Oath of Cow is bandit. Surge Delta targets and gauging guns increased by 30%. The units engaged become priority targets. What does that mean? Five. Wait, they have 10? No, they have 9. Ugh. Okay, um,. We just gotta do a little bit of cheesy deezy here. All we gotta do is let these people waste their first rounds running forward. You take a turn, you take a turn, you take a turn. So we just gotta wipe out this hoodlum in the back. Oh, we have no valor.
We can't get the hoodlum in the back. Uh, Millie's gonna die. Ooh, am I playing on Iron Man? I think that might be it for my run. This game is, uh... Huh. I don't want to say uninteresting, but like, ugh. Duh. Might not be my style. Hmm. It's not his turn yet. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I feel like there needs to be more granularity to the leveling. Like, instead of, um, like the leveling, instead of being like level one, level two, level three, level four, with like giant spaces where like you play for like three hours to level up once, I feel like it needs to be more granular where you level up more often. Because there's a clear issue, um, where like you literally just grind at the same level for long periods of time. Not really doing anything because, like, it just takes so long to level. And I know it's probably an issue where they expect you to have nine people, but, like, then it should have just been a real time game at a certain point. Like, uh. Yeah, I don't know how else to put it, but, uh. It probably should have just been a real time game. If they were going to try to push you to have like nine people in your party. I suppose maybe they want... I don't know, because there's so many jobs. Oh my god, because there's a goddamn fence. Encouragement? No. That's not good either. Oh, okay. I just feel like the game grinds. I, it's my biggest issue. And with how much... Um... The game grinds... And for how much time you spend in it, it's like in Kenshi, I feel like you play Kenshi for six hours and you get way more combat and you get way more things to do, right? But in this game, it's just like, oh my god. Like... That guy just walk up and shoot an ally two turns in a row. It's gotta be a record for that. Dude is destroying his own team. Why are your bones broken, buddy? That's not very cool of you. Yeah, I just feel like the game just takes forever to play out and with it being turn-based like a, a random um, Like this random encounter With bandits takes a very long time to play out Okay, so you need to die but Pudis does way too much damage in my opinion to waste his turns killing it, but also mm, 
but also he kind of has to because no one else will be able to get there in a reasonable amount of time The other guy could sprint it all the way across the field, I suppose, but I'm but I'm trying to like stay away from their back line, you know. Okay, let's flame both their archers. You archery bitches. The joke is I was flaming. I tried Kenshin and got harassed by endless stream of random assaults. I mean, that's kind of how Kenshi is, realistically speaking. I mean, if you if you watch me play it, because in a lot of ways that that is Kenshi. It's not bad, I wouldn't say. Well, that worked out good. Kind of too good. Because it's not, hmm. <laughs> Frenzy doesn't work because we're not in additional attacks. Okay, let's see. Felix. It's not about AF King in the base. I mean, I again, watch me play Kenshi then. Some of you guys don't watch me play Kenshi. I promise you, watch me play Kenshi. Like, it's not at all uh, the way you think it is. Did that guy just... Okay. Dude's like doing Kung Fu on me. What the hell? What is going on with you? Dude, do they just shoot their own allies every time? Do they ever shoot enemies? Jesus. Watch this. I'm gonna shoot him and it's gonna knock him into the zone. <laughs> I'm a funny guy. Ah, oh, don't don't hit me. What do you dig? Well, I mean, I mean that's that's kind of how Kenshi works, though. You, I mean, you can build a base, but the thing is, when you build a base, you have to remember, um, you have to remember that a lot of times when you're building a base, um, yeah, a lot of the first, like, couple of attacks are gonna be deadly, but if you just survive the attacks or live through the attacks, like, enemies, you, they're gonna scale you really hard. Dude, I feel like turn-based games just are not the best to stream, and that's my opinion. I, I'm, I'm quickly coming to the conclusion, it's it's gonna be a difficult sell... Um, ...to ever try to stream a game like this, because like... I think a big problem is like, if it was turn-based, but like, the turns were like... Um, ...high impact... ...that would be one thing. But it's like turn-based with like super low impact turns. Maybe if I had less people. Yeah. We uh, seem to lose a lot of people. Then we get Outlaws Layered Armor, Medium Armor. 
Call Rock, you can wear that. I mean, our party's going down people, but we're actually going up in... Well, nothing, really. I'm not really... Sure. I mean, we're leveling. It's like turn-based Mountain Blade. Yeah, it's kind of like that. I just think Mountain Blade's like a bit more exciting because you're on the field. You're hitting people, right? It's funnier. It's hard to stream these more turn-based games, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, so what do we need to do here? Um, God, I'm tired. This game's eh, it's fine. It's not bad. I don't hate it. It's just like, I feel like if I was playing single player, like off stream, this would be more tolerable. But like when I'm playing on stream, it's kind of uh, I like look at it and I'm like, hmm. Hello, dark cues. Okay, I kind of lost all my people. Didn't I used to have four people? Now we're down to none. Oh wait, I lost Millie. That's probably for the best. We didn't really have the best gear available for her. She was still using an old longsword even. Hackard's using a shit blade. You've got a good blade. Abbott doesn't attack. Yeah, I'll be honest, that fire shit hits me more than it hits them. And the problem is, I can't really be hitting myself because the problem is that if I hit myself, when the original group is still alive, Gregor Pudis. Was Felix in the initial group or did I buy him? I think I bought him. Right, the wages, the wages, the wages I'm supposed to be paying. Those wages. Let's see, we get three happiness plus two happiness is five happiness. We pay the wages, we make people happy, we rest, we stay at 15. Or not. Huh. That's annoying. Well, I was I thought so, but I guess not. Oh, so we were so giga overweight now. Oh, I'm gonna go to sleep chat. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I feel like I feel like the the one of the things I like about games like RimWorld, Bannerlord. Um, one of the things I like about games like RimWorld, Bannerlord, um, Kenshi, is the fact that their real time lets me get through the games pretty quickly. I think this isn't a bad game for a single player, not really. But I feel like one of the issues is that, like. Being turn-based just drags down the mid-game where you're mostly just leveling your characters. Because, like, when I'm leveling in Kenshi, what am I doing? I'm going, yay! And so I'm watching my dude, like, beat the shit out of people with a sword, right? When I'm leveling in Bannerlord, I'm just mowing down, you know, 30, 40 bandits at a time, right? When I'm leveling in RimWorld... But well, I don't really like RimWorld. But, like, when I'm leveling in this game, it's like everything is still turn-based. It's so like that one bandit battle is like 20, 30, 40 minutes, you know? So at, at that point, I start to take a little bit of an issue with it. Um, 
I definitely think there was the, I, I think if I try to make it more exciting, maybe I would like it more. I've played XCOM, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be done, chat. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye, everybody. I think if I was to play this again, I just have to make it exciting. But it's hard to make it exciting, because, like, after you get out of the mid-game, people don't really die. Or even get knocked out, or have bad things happen to them. I don't know a good way to put it. It's like, the danger leaves, and the only thing that kills your characters is if you walk into a, like, ridiculously higher level zone. Like, that was, like two levels over half my party half my party was about level four half my party was level three and i walked in here and i didn't realize it and i kind of thought this area would be fine but i guess i was supposed to stay in tiltrin for a bit longer but because i was absolutely I, I feel like a big problem with these games is the same problem with dark souls i'm gonna put it that way i feel like the, the problem i had with dark souls is the same problem i have with this game where like it's not meant to be a hard game after you get out of the early game And I feel like the problem is that after you get out of the early game, then you run into the issue where you're like, any area that can actually pose you danger isn't where you're supposed to be, which feels wrong. What I like about Kenshi and what I like about Bannerlord is that you are rewarded very handsomely for going to the harder areas that could actually challenge you. But if you sit in the easier areas, you basically just don't even get rewards anymore. Anyway, I'm gonna be done. I'll see you guys later. Yes, yeah, is War Tales.